Okay, arm. You've got the ultimate war god. You've still got the therapy ring. Should I give him something else? Hmm. Oh, I forgot I got a darkness stone. Nah, I'll, I'll stick with the healing ring. Okay, the audio level seems to be good. Uh, how's it going, Scarlet? Uh, how's my uh, audio levels? Like, am I blown at your eardrums again? Or uh, is the audio fix I did a couple days ago still working? Okay, he said go see Queen Theresa. Hi. Yeah, you can deal with the... Yeah. We just saw the Divine Dragon Duel fly by of Deningrad. I think it's good? Okay. Just let me know if the game's a little quiet. Ooh. Yay. Oh, what the? Let me through. There we go. Anything over here? All right. Yeah. This feels like some romantic scene music. Okay, yeah. Protect the castle in the city. Uh, before I... I'm just going to go see what's over here, because obviously, going by logic. Ooh. Holy onk. The fuck is that? There. Yeah, it looks like it should be good. Is this an item? Holy onk. Oh, revives from death with a given probability. <laughs> Dragon, of course, is scared, but I have my work to do. I'm sorry. Let, let's be honest here. If dragons actually existed and we saw one, it's like, oh, gotta get back to work. It's like, no, I just saw a motherfucker with wings and the size of a goddamn house go by. Not exactly a priority. How should uh hit it with hit it with stuff? Dragons fall to weapons. Yes, I did see it. And after all that, I still say Komodo Komodo dragons are fucking badass. The Force of the Holy Knights. Think. Are you, bruh? Are you dumb? Yeah. Uh, correct on both accounts. What? Uh, no. You're an idiot. Wow, she just pimp handed him. She just backhanded the commander in front of the queen. She is literally the epitome of pimp hand strong. Yeah, talking about the enemy based on mere assumptions. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> he just got fucking told. He's just like, uh. Yeah. <laughs> she just hurt her hand by punching a pillar. Well done. My hand hurts. Hey. 
She's the second sister. She's the first. That male says who? Male says who? Is the divine dragon. Long rest. <laughs> no wonder he's cranky. Uh, yes. Mountain of Mortal Dragon. Yep. Positive. Yes. But us stand up to him. Dart. Okay, th that is a flex from Dart. Yes. You need the case. Two weapons in ancient. She looks straight at Maru when she said that. Sword to kill dragon, namely the Dragon Buster. What? How do you know about that? <laughs> oh shit. How do you know about that, Maru? <laughs> Oops, I didn't say anything. Isn't that the sword? Yep. On the other one. The Dragon Block Staff. Power of Dragons. And Dragoons. I was going to ask you. It seems that one of us knew about it. Maru? Oh shit. <laughs> Are you hesitating? Eh. Uh, okay. <laughs> Forest of Wingleys. Oh boy. The heck is that? Uh, northern part of the ever. Uh huh. Yep. <laughs> oh no, Maru. She's like, oh no. Thank you, Miranda. Will do. Yep, let's head. Come on, Shauna. You all right? She was in the throne room. All right, where'd she go? That's the third chamber of the si signet. Wait. Oh shit. What the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck happened? Did 
used to be a fort for winglies. Seal something more than 10,000. Oh, so this is what they used to seal the divine dragon? That's what I'm guessing, since... Yeah. Okay, I can see it. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. It's gone, my what? Uh, what the fuck? Oh, hi. Oh, shit. No longer. That's a dragoon spirit. Yay. Oh, what a tragedy. Waiting. Oof. What's up, Miranda? Take care of the rest. Miranda. Yeah. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, Shauna is gone. She is permanently replaced. By Miranda. So don't get any extra levels, because so she's still 19. So that kind of sucks. But you know what? At least the person carrying the white silver dragoon is someone who I don't detest. Well, I don't detest Shauna. She's she is the epitome of Mary, not even Mary Sue, just damsel in distress, like just permanent. That is my biggest gripe with Shauna. Just constant damsel in distress. need to go to the forest of winglies meow meow Oh, and she comes with the war gods. Once Dart hits level 5, I'll... I think I actually need to... I'm literally just trying to think of, like, the best... Because... Now that I have the full, full party, I'm thinking of where is a good grind spot. Okay. 
We gotta go up there. I'm just trying to remember how to get to Neat. Because they said it was through here. And that, I remember that much that where that guard is, is how you get to the uh, Divine Dragon's Mountain. But we can't go there quite yet. And, uh, spoiler, like, before I go to fight the Divine Dragon, I want to be at least level 30. Because he is all sorts of fucking nasty. God damn it. Motherfucker. Ow. Can you kill that, please? Thank you. I think, uh, what's it called? Cashel might almost be done with Flurry of Sticks. And then I think it's Summon Four Gods. Hey, Maru got to level up. Let me just check my edition. Okay, yeah, he's almost done with it. Yeah, then summon four gods, then five ring shattering. Okay. I just want to head over this way. Because, yeah, there's this. But I want to go over here. And if I go up, that will lead me to the forest wingleys. But I want to go down and to the right. Because I believe that will take me to neat. Which I think is pretty neat. Yes, my jokes are terrible. Ashel hits heart. more perfect you just did that on the person who just went. I do approve your party. Well, thank you very much, Ripper. Much appreciated. I'm working on, uh, Rose is, uh, I've got Rose with the Ultimate War God currently just because I want her to get, uh, hard, uh, okay, I just want to head to eat quick because I need a, the uh, Stardust from here. Welcome in, by the way. Hope you're doing well. Okay, should be, like, right around here. 
Ah, there it is. It's literally all, all I need and need. Yeah. For me... Rose's spot, like... I kind of... I like Hashal, because he's just such a physical beast. I generally like to keep, like, a really solid magic user. Like, Dart is always there. I like to have a strong physical person, like an Albert, a Kongol, or a Hashal. And uh, for magic, like, you know, Rose, Maru. Rose or Maru. And I do want to eventually, like, I do want to try using Miranda, because in all the times I've played this game, is a good middle ground mix. I can see that. His later additions get fucking annoying, whereas someone like it's hard and has the speed still, yeah. I like Maru just because her magic is off the charts. I know later on, once the equipment gets starts flowing, Miranda just goes bonkers. But it's more like, I it's more I need to find a good grind spot. Like I know the Phantom Ship is a great one. My biggest gripe was I didn't have all seven Dragoons. Like, and if I did, I, Cause I know there's a few good grind spots coming up. I'm just thinking where to go because like, I'm like 23, 24 right now. Like that 22 to 24 is my average level. And uh, we're going into the forest of Wingleys for the glacier at the beginning of disc three. Glacier. Isn't that disc four? Sorry, I, I'm just trying to remember. I think so. Oh, jeez. Are, 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 do you mean like the death front? Yeah, half a decade. I, like, I'm... I'm just trying to think, am I thinking of uh, the Death Frontier or like uh, the Snowfield? Like, I'm just trying to think. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm, I'm with you, it's been well over, you know, well over half a decade since I last played. I remember the big, big story beats. I just... Oh yeah. And I got lucky on the Phantom Ship and I did the uh... Oh god, the... my brain just died. I did the little puzzle, and I uh, got all the way to uh, the ultimate war god. So yeah. So yeah, that is making... Well, if nothing else, it makes grinding additions much, much smoother. I'm going to defend with her because she is getting absolutely molly -whopped. The Yeah, also the one down, one of the Rose's downsides, her health is like non-existent. Hey, I still got a level. All right. Time for a big reveal. To the forest of Wingley. 
Maybe I'll be kicked out again. Ma magical. Gave her the dragon helm. And the mountain. Wait. Who do you give? Oh, uh, Rose? Yeah, I... I've locked himself for since the dragon campaign. Dang. How... My question is... How many winglies in there have been alive since the dragon campaign? Like, I think the ancestor is from the dragon campaign, but is there anyone else? Like, I'm just thinking lore-wise. Because, think about this. Being around for 11,000 years is a long fucking time. Some winglies are still angry. But wow. Holding the fucking grudge. Hey! Maru's got her wings! You just clued in, Dart? Come on! You never found it in myself to like Maru. See, I enjoy Maru's character because it does have a very nice. It took me out before I started liking Riku. Well, I like Maru from a gameplay perspective because her magic and speed is fucking bonkers. But she has a really good story arc. Like, she's an interesting character. She seems like a kid. Like, but she just. You know, she doesn't know a lot about the outside world because, you know, for like, she's only been out in the, out in the human world for, I think that it was like five years. Like, and R Riku, in terms of gameplay mechanics, I really like Riku in terms of being a thief and being able to craft like crazy shit. Like I found, found it was a unique mechanic in 10. I haven't really played Ten Two, so I can't. Don't really have a. Yes, of course. Maru is Maru, exactly. Do yourself a flavor and don't play X Two. Honestly, it seemed, I'm not going to lie, from what I've seen of it, the job system feels like it would be up my alley. Because I love that stuff in the earlier Final Fantasy games. I, I, and in Final Fantasy Tactics, I love the idea of swapping jobs. And, and, and I understand, like, Final Fantasy X gameplay of it is awesome. But yes, everything, it, the story and everything I saw would not appeal to my ilk. I'll say that much. That much I do know. Ten, Final Fantasy X-2 would not appeal to, but then again, like, I'll give you a perfect example. Everything I've seen of Final Fantasy XIII, all three fucking games of it, it makes me never want to touch it with a 10-foot goddamn pole. It looks boring as shit. Like, and here's the thing. From what I played of Final Fantasy XIV, I fucking loved. Because I love a good MMO. XV, that was really fun. Like, it, you, it took a while to get used to, like, the real-time-ish combat. Like, the pseudo turn-based real-time kind of kingdom heartsy combat but the characters were engaging the story was cool and you know it felt unique to the final fantasy series whereas things like 13 uh ish eh, did not appeal to me 12 looks fun but there is it is beyond excessive grind I like watching 15, but I know I won't enjoy it. Did, 
Dragon Ball S teleport. And, uh, just doesn't fit in the Final Fantasy I haven't. That's fair. Like, if you grew up like me with, like, all the pixel stuff into 7, 8, 9. Because, like, I always say, like, Squaresoft have had a golden age. Not Square Enix, Squaresoft. From, like, nine, from like Final Fantasy 4 to Final Fantasy 9, all the games in between that, not just Final Fantasy, all their games, every game was a banger. They did not make a bad game. Like, Squaresoft had a golden age. Because that was when, like, oh, God, it was, like, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy 6. What? I'm just trying to remember... Like, they had fucking all-timer, all-time greats. But, I don't mind the, I didn't mind the teleporting because Kingdom Hearts. Like, I'm, I don't mind Kingdom Hearts. It's a bit too twee for my taste. Just with, you know, Disney and shit. But, uh, playing that kind of got me used to, like, the real-time-esque stuff. Anyway, back to the game. Fight it with our magic... Ball, current level of power. But yeah, when I think of a Final Fantasy game, I always think of turn-based combat a la 789. That is like, when someone says, you know, that that is the first thing that comes to mind. Says that. Cool. Yeah. Speaking of 14, yeah, and, uh, yeah, Endwalker is, yeah, Endwalker is in two days. It, I am legitimately excited, because here's the thing. What, before I stopped playing, uh, I had just gotten to Heaven's Ward. So, like, I know I've still got enough, like, I've got boatloads of content to go through. Like, I have, like, three expansions of content to go, to have main story to go through. But I will be right back. I just need to go use washroom quickly. I have returned, but... But, yeah, speaking of Final Fantasy XIV, like, I've been... When I would played, I was, uh, I was a warrior. Like, all the way through. Working on, uh, pal uh Paladin as well. Because I love the way they do their stuff. Yes. Neom. Oh shit. I'm trying to be logical here. We have to work together. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Watch out for the Bardell brothers. Wait, we saw them earlier. They tried to, uh... Yeah, 11,000 years of hatred, yeah. Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> Yay, racism! I ain't gonna talk to anybody. Saving. Hey, what's up? Yes, please. What do you play in uh, Final Fantasy XIV? Have you got Endwalker pre-ordered?
Oh, shit. Hey! Got that pre-ordered day one, honestly. Yeah, that's what you're doing. What? It looted. Aw. Waiting for eons? Nice. Man. Dragon is supposed to be your ally. Yeah, the dragon. <laughs> yeah, 10,000 years. Yeah, 10,000 years is a bit long. Honestly, I, I'm thinking about getting back into Final Fantasy XIV. Like, I was playing for a while. But, like, the group I was playing with just kind of fell off the game. I think it was just burnout and anticipation and a break before Endwalker. Yay. Look at that. Oh, oops. Uh, hi. Uh, yes, please. Yeah, but uh, my, my next question has to be, what do you play? You know, are you an Omni crafter? Okay, well... This one? Yum. Fuck. Oh. Jokes aside, I am everything. Oh. Oh! Oh, oh, that's... Okay, that would be an absolute fucking dirty item to get for Maru. That's 30 magic. Jokes aside, you main bard. Nice. Uh, yeah, I think I I had access to bard because I played the archer a bit. Escape magic attacks. Percent. Be as miffed as you fucking want. Okay, heal fog. Free expect black rain. Don't need any of them. Okay. I think I was done back in January. Nice. Honestly, it's been a while since I last. Time. Okay, going up there triggers that. Oh wait, no, I was in the right area, son of a bitch. Lennis, okay, they don't know Lennis. You cannot use magic, you cannot even... Must be very... Yes, it's very inconvenient. God. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. Talking to you about this stuff is making me want to just, you know, re-sub re and... Uh... Oh, whoa. Cool. 
the Archangel. Guardian God of the Wing. Cool. But yeah. Honestly, my thing, like, I think I want to level Paladin. Like, let me put it this way. I. Oh, hey. Actually, I need to talk to you, bro. Aw. Yes, I'm humans. Yes. One thing I, I have heard like that Final Fantasy XIV does amazingly is making crafting like legitimately viable. Like, uh, what, what's the joke at joke? Like Omni crafting is like uber viable. Which is like generally crafting in MMOs is, you know, sidebar. But apparently in Final Fantasy XIV, it can be absolutely main and like legitimately worth it. Guaraha. Just you said I'm just a friend. Oh, we grew up together. My fiat. Oh shit. <laughs> He's like, motherfucker. I didn't know you had a fiance. More to you than I thought. Crafting, oh yeah, er, early on in any MMO expansion, if you can get like, you know, whether it be, yep, whether it be, I remember back in World of Warcraft when like, Wrath of the Lich King or Cataclysm came out, like if you could get, you know, a stack of any sort of, you know, cloth, stone, ore, you could just sell it for bonkers amounts of money or like within the first two weeks of the expansion because every millionaire who's fucking just power leveling their crafting will just pay for it they don't care oh and uh i saw they implemented it so uh there are Male maid outfits and female butler outfits. Man, what did Joe Cat say? Give me one second. Okay, where is it? <laughs> Sorry, getting a drink. All right, I can't find it. Anyway. What are you analyzing me for? Because you still act like a fucking kid. What? <laughs> I was going to say, relationship? We're friends. Fucking chill. Hey. <laughs> uh. Yep. They say that, but sh this is also her fiance. And I believe in Wing, like, well, since Wingley's age super slow, she's probably like a hundred and something, would be my guess. My apologies, Wiki's at 16. Oh! Uh, uh, 
I wouldn't say so, but I don't know Wingley's like I don't know Wingley rules. They're a fantasy race with wings. Oh, he's on probation. Eh. Maybe one wing leak. Nah, I don't know. One and a half human. Your guess is as good as mine. Because if the ancestor's been around since since the dragon campaign, like. Who knows? Yes, you can. Hey! Yeah. But yeah, even I'll say 16 for Fianza, it's like, ish. That is literally the term of the form of ish. What? What do you want, Bardell? <laughs> uh, bro, you got no fucking idea what you're dealing with. Ah. Ah, that sucks. No. Really? <laughs> You're strong, huh? Declining. Oof. Barely flying, that's... Oh, she is calling him. She is just dragging him right now. Oh. Uh. Oh no, a fireball. On the red dragoon. Yeah, good luck. Try again. Try again. Yeah. Ones of month disappear when the truly power. Okay. I'm just going to use this phrase. Bardell got bitched out. Like. <laughs> Afraid of our magic power. No. Yeah, good luck with that. Good luck with that. You got a few more? It's gonna take a few of you. Stop. Yeah, please. It's just like... Yeah. Y'all got bitched out. Apology for the discourtesy. Oh, shit. Hi. Humans in Giganto. 
Solano, the ancestor of the forest. Okay. Mountain of the Mortal Dragon. Our dragoons, yep. He's honest. That was good. Good shit. Okay. We can't. He's got a point. Is that you dragon thing put off dragon? It's actually detrimental. Yep. But my question and like my uh yeah. Uh, it's just kind of funny. Maru is a wingly dragoon. It's almost an oxy, not non oxymoron. What was I thinking? Juxtaposition. What, what? What's the phrase I'm looking for? Father, anytime I want. <laughs> not the right time. My first one leading us to the other world. Or at those human world too. Ah. Uh -huh. Low time. Oh yeah. Forbidden land. Our hideous memory sleeps. Palace. Okay. Royal capital. Royal, Royal capital. Cadessa. Cadessa. Let's go. I think this, I believe there is some healing spots with with monsters. So this may turn into, I'll be honest, this may turn into a grind stream where I just talk about, you know, you know, what I've been doing and my plans for what's going on with the stream after, uh, after I finish the Legend of Dragoon. I said I was gonna play Dragoon today. My roommate's like, oh, you're gonna finish up Dragoon today? And I went, uh, no. Like, <laughs> I'm just starting disc three. There's about, what, what would you say, uh, Ripper? 20 hours left? 20, 20, like, I'm still of the royal capital. Oh, jeez. You all right, Maru? Oof. Because I am at at least 15. Well, I am going to go, I am going to beat Faust. 
like I, I I'm gonna be Faust. I don't know about Hunter for getting everyone's additions and Dragoon levels. I'm thinking on it and add another five. Okay, so yeah, but about twenty. Yeah, not an insane amount. Okay, is this does this have the cool like unique battle music? I Does We'll say once uh, Dark gets level five Dragoon, I'm probably gonna take the uh, War God Sash off of them. Get Rose's final edition. Yeah, like, like I said, if I wanted to grind it out, I could like get Dragoon levels and additions here. I was just thinking if I want to do that right now. Well, she does have the ultimate war god on her, so. That's also what I was thinking of. Right, honestly, it's just a new. Well, considering I have the ultimate war god, it's literally I click it and I win. I just gotta find the healing spot in here. Uh, I got it via the phantom ship uh, uh, little mini game I've never bought it the most the most expensive thing I ever bought was uh, the uh, legend cost just because I was going to honestly you can fight Faust without it but he is like un like much much more difficult without it I'm almost on to summon four gods for Hoshel.
Okay, five more and then we're on to summon four gods. Yeah, I only saved up uh, 10,000 one time, and that was for a legend cost. Call, yep, call, see him. Regular fights, matches to the death. Oof. Just enjoy the view from above. Dragon. Giganto. Oof. That's kind of cold. Near rune. No longer our sorrow. Yeah. Sorry if I'm not reading the dialogue. I can't do seven voices. Also, if I if I literally read all the dialogue, well, we I'd still be on like disc two. In case you're wondering why I'm going back, I want that treasure chest. I can barely do English. Oh. Are you, uh, oh, are you ESL? Or were you just saying that more as just like, you know, self deprecating humor? Uh, ESL, English as a second language. Ah, oh, okay. Now you have to understand, yeah, 20 points more agility, so I always give this, and when I get a chance, I wanna give this and the dancer's ring to Maru, cause that gives her base 110 speed. I'm also gonna give, I'm actually gonna give you the dancer shoes for now. Yeah. Hmm. If you don't mind me asking, where are you from originally? Or well, well, where are you from? Not originally, I was just like, wait, no. Okay. I always like to know where people in my stream are from. It's always, it's interesting. There you bonk me. Oh, you're finished? Cool. Suck it. Right. 
But yeah, for addition, for addition grinding, Ultimate War God literally makes it, you know, so easy. And with Madness Hero and the War God Sash, he's gonna get level five on that right quick. I'm glad I went back for the item. Cause yeah, dancer shoes are really, really useful. On a completely random tangent, I've also been thinking about getting back into Monster Hunter. Well, Monster Hunter World specifically. One of the bosses done. Rare drop the cable. Uh, yes, it was a speed up. It's a one one of the repeat items. Yeah, speed up. But yeah. Like, I believe if you give that to Maru when she's fully equipped, it gives her, like, 220 agility. So she literally... Yeah, basically, for your addition grinding, you give them ultimate war god and, like, uh... And dance. Really hazy memory of that boss dropping. Drake? Uh, Bandit's Ring. I have the Bandit's oh. Ring. But it's an accessory, so I can't use it to replace the Ultimate War God. Because with the Ultimate War God, I don't have a... You know, I don't have a chance to fuck up. You know what I mean? I was just thinking out loud since we were on the topic of agility. Oh yeah, abs oh yeah, like, if I was, say, you know, because there's, I believe there's also a, is there a dance, is there a dancer's ring? Could you do a quick uh, Google for me? I believe there is a dancer's ring because I have the dancer's shoes. Because I believe like dancer's ring, dancer's shoes, and then like, the speed up. What the heck is that? Ah! This is the grind spot. Okay, I need one more flurry of sticks. Dancer shoes and ring, okay. And there's also, is there bandits shoes and ring? Like the male counterparts? I believe there is. You mother... He needed one more goddamn addition. And you... you He's the one you stun. Sons of bitches. 
Why can't you just do that? Well, if nothing else, it'll let me grind this out so I can get Moonstrike and Death Dance. Oh. That is fucking rude. run to the uh, washroom quickly. I actually have a question I need, I, if you're not uber, like, busy. When does Dart get his next edition? I, my latest one is Madness Hero. I know the next one is Moonstrike. I just don't know what level it is, so please check. I will be right back. I have returned. Okay, Moonstrike is 29. Oof. Okay, I'm gonna have it before the Divine Dragon. But, I'm, yeah. If I just... If I just run in one direction... No. Okay, it has to be multiple. I might do it... Yeah. I'll be honest. This is probably just going to be a bit of a grinding screen. Grinding stream. So, if y'all got questions, uh, you know, about what I'm going to play and my plans for the stream, ask away. And if you're chilling and enjoying the game, or I can just tell you kind of what my plans are uh, for the stream. Yeah, that sounds good, actually. Here, let me just uh, punch, punch. Okay. Basically, the plan right now is... Legend of Dragoon is the main game on the channel, like right now. Like not permanently. I don't I'm, like. I don't only play Dragoon. It's one of my favorite games of all time. But Dragoon is like a once every couple of years kind of thing. Because as you know, Ripper, as you know, this is a long game. But like. Right. I've also I'm also playing through the Yakuza series. So my plans are after uh Dragoon, I'm gonna be playing through Yakuza 3. I have finished off Zero off stream because, you know. I played it before I started streaming. And I didn't want to play it again on stream. And then I've beaten Kiwami 1 and 2 on stream, and they're on my YouTube. I've also uh, played and beaten Spirit Fair. Oops, crap, I forgot to switch Hushel's thing. Yes. Go. But yeah. My plan is Zero. Yakuza 3, th and then probably either, probably Bloodborne. I want to do a platinum playthrough of uh, Bloodborne. Because aside from the fact I really enjoy FromSoft's games, Yakuza Zero from six to my Yakuza Zero is incredibly fun. So is Kiwami. Two is when they're on a different engine, so the physics feel a bit janky, but it's quite fun. Yeah, and uh, Ota Six are also on Game Pass, which is how I'll be playing uh, three, three to six. I, see, I plan on playing the Yakuza series. I might have to replay Zero just to get the full series. Like just, you know, having it played on stream kind of thing. I went through Zero, Kiwami 1, and stopped towards the end of 2. Huh. Burnout or, like, I enjoyed 2. I've never, and here's the thing, from here on out, 
I am completely blind to the Yakuza series. I only so much Yakuza man can get through. Well, yeah. I also do plan on playing like a dragon. And I, I also do want to play like a dragon. Yay, game pass. I think, if nothing else, my golfer, the, at least the by the end of this stream, Rose will have Death Stance. And J Dart will have Dragoon level 5. Yeah, those are my two, like, those are my two hopes. But yeah, blood, as I was saying, Bloodborne, Yaku the plan so far in my brain is uh, Yakuza 3, uh, Bloodborne, Platinum playthrough. Because uh, I do plan on 100%ing uh, the entire Souls series. Aside from uh, Demon Souls, because that is PS5 exclusive, and uh, I have access to a five, PS5, but it's not easy access. But like, I also have I have access to a PS4 with Bloodborne and Sekiro on it. I've also want like I want to try a lot of games like. Like, Neo looks like just an absolute boatload of fun. If, if you can't tell, I really like third-person action games. I wasn't sure if that came through. Alright, All right, I actually... I, okay, I just thought of something. Better add near to the... Uh, automata? Yeah, I, I've actually... That has been highly recommended to me. And not just for, you know, 2B's ass. Apparently it's like a super good game. Near Replicant? I'll see. Are they both on uh, Game Pass? I know uh, Automata is, or the... Oh yeah, oh yeah, I've always... I've got plenty of games I... I'll put it this way. I got plenty of games I want to play. Okay, actually, he... He just got that. I'm actually going to swap in Maru for Hashal right now. Just to get some... What's he armed with? Oh, he's got the therapy ring. She's got the spear ring. Excellent. Uh, what's... Yeah. Baseline speed is 90. Uh, and honestly, that my next big, big RPG is a highly requested one from uh, the Peanut Gallery, also known as my roommate, Persona 5 Royale.
Definitely worth. I have heard. And honestly, Persona 5 is one I've wanted to play for ages. It's just, you know. I, I know the reputation of Persona games. It's not just the fact that there are their JRPGs. It's just they're long. Like, I've got a Google sheet that I should probably pull up. Google Doc with like all the stuff I want to play. When you get a taste of Persona, you can Shin Megami Tensei. I thought that was just, isn't that literally dark, like darker persona? Like, from what I understand about the Shin Megami series, it's literally like, it's a spinoff, yeah. A lot more grim and serious, yeah. Heavier emphasis on gameplay. Yeah. Well, I've uh, I've never played a Persona game. Like I've, like, thankfully, like here's the thing. I. I know nothing about, even with all this time, I, I have, I would, and I would ask that you don't spoil it, but like, I haven't been spoiled on the Persona 5 at all. Like, I know nothing about Royale. I know literally the baseline basis of some shit. That's it. Like, you know, like, there's still there's so many good games to play. You know. At this point, Royal is the way to play 5 anyway. Added content and change added features. Yeah. Scarlet, what do you think of that? If you're if you're gonna play Persona Five, you know, should you just play Royale? Rose got to level up. Like I said, my goal before I continue on is for Rose to have her final edition. Royale is honestly objectively better. Okay, without, like, without dipping into spoiler territory, like, does it fix mechanics or, like, certain dungeons or, like, things that can lock you out of things or, like, or does it just add better and more shit? There we go. Don't have the resources. Did obtain Rob. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Thankfully, I have the resources to to play Royale. It's called the Roommates PS4 and Remote Play. Literally better. Yes. Go. <laughs> Hero. Yeah, and thankfully Atlas is calmed down on their, you know, strike every everything that moves. 
when it comes to the Persona games. Literally the one thing, the main also reason I'm kind of holding off on Persona is A, it's a massive fucking game. And B, like, it's gonna be like, cause generally my streams go from two to five hours. Like, cause spoiler, I have a full-time job. This is a hobby. If wasn't obvious from, e yeah, easy hundred hours. That's what I've heard. Like, well, Scarlet, how much time did you spend in there? Because weren't you like a trophy or two away from platinum? Rude. 150 hours. <laughs> and sorry I keep pulling you out of your Forza playing funk. There's so many games I want to play and I'm hyped for, but it's literally, I don't have the time in the day to play a Rainbow Breath, to play all the games I want to play. My friends are begging me to play CS. So yes. <laughs> Find op, sit in corner, laugh. Oh. You may quiet down, but I will still ask you questions. Yeah, I've, I've already got uh, 25, 26 hours in this game. I also need to find like, here's the thing. I don't just play games on here. Like I do silly stuff like Tear Maker where I find, you know, random lists and I you know, give my opinion on them. And sometimes Scarlet joins me for those. Nice. But yeah, Spirit Ring is very handy for grinding out a, a dish, uh, Dragoon levels as well. Actually, speaking of which... Where's my... Where's the one that freezes? Ah. And then I give you speed up. And that's like three editions. Because he can't move. That's very okay. Also, it gives Maru an extra 60 uh, spirit points. Darts almost got a level up. God, last time I think I was here, I think I uh level was uh leveling uh Albert's gust of wind dance.
Damn it. Basic little buggers. Bunk. Damn it. Gonna block your shit. Start throwing the speed up on Rose. And just, you know, getting hard blade up uh, max. Okay, I need 21 more. She needs 10 more. Nothing else, this is a nice little bit of chunk of change as well. Hush, 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 hush. 
Heart Blade. Nine more. Yes. Go. <laughs> Hero. Damn. Stop. Heart blade. Yeah, as soon as fucking Dark hits level 5 Dragoon, I am going to move the War God Sash over to, like, Maru. Maru? Yeah. I'm just... Or... We'll see. It just, I'm... You know. Because once he hits level 5 Dragoon, he doesn't need spirit points anymore. Yes! Go! <laughs> God damn it. Excuse me. There we go. God damn it. Congo got to level up. Yay. Right. After the next battle, I'll check their additions. Son of a bitch. I'm just looking, it's all beneficial. All the spirit points. Jesus. I think Maru needs about. Six or seven more uh, double smacks before she can start working on a hammer spin. And you need 16 more. And you need four more. Honestly, I might just say fucking let Maru, if uh, the enemy we were fighting is like, can take a decent fucking thwack. Just might let Maru get her fucking... Get her four in. Nope. The most I can get out of this is three. God. Okay. 
Okay, I can, I can get three. Diamond dust. God damn, Maru! RD Dragoon level three. She is just flying up there. Like I am not complaining. Topped off. Yes. Go. <laughs> God damn it. Rude. spin okay and she needs 13 more so actually let me give that to you because I give them that and then I just throw the speed on them and then I just defend with uh, Dart and Maru. guys I'll give you the speed up I just want to see Yes, it amuses me to know how she falls down. Like, wee bonk. Okay, uh, I'm actually going to let y'all know, kind of know my plan right now. Once Rose gets her final edition, I'm going to be saving and then I'm going to be calling this stream because I'm going to, because I'm off for two days. So I'm going to get some sleep, relax, watch some TV shows, 
and probably later on tonight, I don't know, like, it'll probably be like midnight my time. Not sure what time it'll be other places. But if you are enjoying the stream, feel free to drop a follow. I am, I am trying to get to, you know, 50 followers for affiliate. So any follow is always appreciated. Go Die. get the staff. Hard blade. I also understand if someone's like, I'm just checking out Dragoon because I haven't seen it for ages. Makes complete sense. Hard blade. Roses is ripping through these people now. It's like, give me my addition. And I don't have to check how close she is because when she masters this one, it'll automatically pop. And I believe her last one is called Best Dance. Still getting her free spirit points. Yeah, go ahead. Chilling with the grind. Should be Die. Hard blade. Ha. Nice try you did it on someone who's defending. You suck. After I stop the recording, I'll kind of read off my the games I kind of plan to play. Like, I could probably actually add more to it. Hmm, possibly. Hit me with a freaking looks like a stock of corn. How dare you? Demon's Dance, the new edition. Okay. 
I want to see it once, and then we'll save and go through the stuff I talked about. And if you are curious, every almost everything I do on my Twitch stream is archived on YouTube. Damn it. All right, I just got pies delivered. And with that, I shall say thank you all for joining me. It's always fun to play this. Hey, it worked. I remember to actually hop into a channel this time. Okay, everything seems good. I was going to say, actually, if I'm sticking with that. Oh, yeah. And uh, just so I don't. Okay. When I was doing my grinding. The goddamn dancer's ring dropped. So if I give her the dancer's ring and the dancer's boot, her base speed is 110. Translation, it's fucking insane. What the hell? This game has four pixels. Eh, you're not wrong. Okay, I believe it was. But the... Well, yeah, well, keep in mind, Kokotor, this is Legend of Dragoon. This came out in the 2000s. Okay, and then it was... Finitos? Yeah. Then dragons. Yeah. This was originally released in the year 2000. So put yourself in the mind frame of how old you were back at that age. Well, back at that time. Oh god. Uh, that figures that. If it came out in 2000. It's a wonderful game. It is like what called basically considered one of the most underrated RPGs of all time. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, new stuff is out, but sometimes you just want to feel a bit of a nostalgia trip. You don't instantly forget everything from the past that you used to play. Come on. No, no. <laughs> there will no be, no be no looking back in happiness. 
No. Only new. What are you, fucking Apple? Yeet! See, she's with it, she's saying yeet! Well, then again, she's wielding a giant hammer, so I guess she does yeet, motherfuckers. <laughs> On a nostalgia trip. On... Okay, well, then my question has to be, I know you have nostalgia for some games or movies. Everyone does. Like, literally... For you, what is the what is a nostalgic movie or a nostalgic game for you? Because you may enjoy newer stuff, but there is some stuff that holds a place in your heart. It's you're not that corporately driven. You're like, no, I must only have the newest, and everything must be peak. Everything must be new. Like this, like. I remember playing this on my old CRT in my bedroom on an original PlayStation. Back when it, it wasn't the PSX, it wasn't the PS1, it was just the PlayStation. Also, okay. I couldn't, I'm sorry, the internet wasn't really a thing for me. Un well, once I got older and could afford my own things, obviously I went to PC. But, you know. When you're a child and you're trying to explain to your dad what the internet is and what a computer like is good for and they don't get it when you literally don't have an internet connection in your house until the original xbox yeah and then obviously once i moved out on my own i don't i didn't even have a cable subscription or, you know, but your first PC when you were 13. I didn't have that type of cash. Now I, I can also redo this fight that I fucked up on. It was only 2000. Yeah, I didn't have access to that kind of scratch. Yeah, when I was 13, oh god. Because I was poor and I didn't have a job. Then you're grand. Uh, no. Because both my grandparents were, were dead before I was in double digits. I'm sorry, that sounds really cold. Okay. Okay, he's... Why is he... Oof, oof, oof. <laughs> All I gotta say is... God damn, did... Being from fucking uh, uh, no 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 you didn't quite cross a line I just it was more unexpected like you know but thank you I I appreciate 
appreciate topology, but it's just like... <laughs> it's more, but that was more unexpected. Like, well, you have to understand, like, my grandmas have been dead since, you know, since before I was double digits. So I don't really have memories of them. So it's like, I'm not, you're not going to like offend me. I was just like, I was just, that was just surprising. Okay. But yeah. What I would, did not have like access to a lot of money when I was younger. So it's like, if we were going to get something, it wasn't going to be like a computer or something for one person. It's going to be like a console or something for the house. One second. Oh, I thought I heard someone. Yeah, I'm actually a psychopath when I don't. Ah, <laughs> eh, you're fine. You're from the weird, cold European regions. So, you know. I'm, you shouldn't. <laughs> You've hanging. You've been hung hanging around enough. You're not gonna offend me. I'm, I'm a grown man. I would just like ancient legend. In case you're wondering why I'm skipping through this, because I actually I fucked up in this battle last time. Yeah. You're not a psycho. You just got dark humor like I do. Because well, you know. And they weren't really cold, they were more just ashes. Because we didn't, we don't really believe, we didn't really believe in like burial plots. Like just. A little low. I technically don't have, but I'm bidding. Nah, not at all actually. No, you're like me, man. We're, we're both... We both got dark humor due to being on the internet for literally the bulk of our teenage and adult lives. That's the way I look at it. We've, we've had more access to information and more weird shit throughout our lives, so... And literally the trick with this fight, you may be noticed why I'm not really super paying attention to the fight. It just has lives. You literally can defend through this fight. I might have to use like one healing breeze. Uh, I also lack a moral compass. Mm. You might be a bit fucked up. I have empathy for others, but it, uh... I might need to fucking transform Lavitz, not Lavitz, fucking Albert, because he just keeps getting molly -whopped. Actually, yeah. I'm just going to transform and use, uh, uh, Rose Storm. Nah. You're not as bad as you think you are, man. You're all right. Well, if nothing else, I I at least have a, a neutral to uh, good. <laughs> Dude, we're on the internet. Everyone's good at, everyone's got, everyone's a pretender in some way. You gotta think of it that way. Cause this is how I phrase it and I think of it. What's up? Icarus. 
Uh, does not sound familiar. If you're referring to the fable. Oh my God, leave Albert alone. Uh, does not ring a bell, unfortunately. You know, I'm just gonna give you a healing potion. Oh cool, is it, is it decent? Uh, give me the TL, TLDR pitch. Like, is it a, well, I mean like, is it a roguelike? Is it an RPG? You know, is it a, you know, spectacle fighter? Yes, I still use that phrase because when Yahtzee invented it, it's a much better like. Is it a is it a Soulsborne type of game? Because there's a session-based PV survival game for mining's up. Session-based. Hmm. Interesting. So it's like a survival game that's actually got like something pushing you forward. It's not just, you know, fi find a corner and shit in a bush. Yeah. Okay. That actually sounds half decent. That's, yeah, eight player co-op. That's actually like a fucking substantial amount of people. Because when you when I first saw that, all of the, I just thought of like Echo, or uh, Eco, uh, or like Ark Survival Evolved, like, or uh, the Forest. Like, that's the first thing that came to mind for me. Yeah, it's not really, yeah, from what you said, it's just, well, when you first describe, when you first put that in, I was just like, uh, that was the first thing that came into my mind. Uh. Okay. Okay, we're all defending. Give Maru. Okay. Come on, Maru, survive the. Hey, cool. We all survive. And we win. Because it's literally a fucking stall fight. Does need polish, though, even though it's. Oh, is it 1.0? It's not a early access or anything? Honestly, for me, I've been, I've been thinking about jumping back into Terraria. I've kind of got my next couple games planned out. Price it. Ah. Uh, 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 yeah, exactly. Like, that's actually a very reasonable price. All right, I'm gonna go back, heal, and save. But uh, yeah, and with with that price point, that's actually gonna make it so a lot of people are like, you know what? It's twenty bucks. I'll give it a shot. Exactly. As, as long as do they have like a fo uh, form of roadmap or anything? Because that is my biggest thing with uh, 
newer roadmap in the description. Okay, that that's good. That's good. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's not an early access game. I'm sorry, it's just, I'm so used to those types of game being like early access. All right, I actually, I got, I got one for you. What in your opinion, this is your, has been in beta for the last six months? Okay, okay. In your opinion, what game that has gone from early access to release did it the best? In other words, what to you is early access done right? Just, it, it's, and it's just literally your personal opinion. What is a game you have watched or seen or played? Watch, seen, same thing. But it's like, you were like, I saw this when it was in early access. It may have been a little rough, but they refined it and refined it. Don't starve together and oxygen not included. All right, the best I know of. Yeah. Clay has that formula down really solidly. I'm just gonna get the battle out of the way. Uh, for me, uh, the answer would have to be Darkest Dungeon. Like, it's it's literally a game I plan on going back to. I have it on... I. And uh, yes, it was in early access for a year. Just like Don't St uh, Dark Dungeon 2 is currently in early access on the Epic Game Store. And I have so much goodwill from the first game that I bought it in early access on the Epic Store. Like, day one. And as someone who's like always championing, you know, don't pre-order, you know, watch early access, make sure that I just jumped in there. I was like, nope, nope, I need this. Yeah. And I, I'm looking forward to jumping into back into Darkest Dungeon 2. But I've got a couple games on the horizon. Like, okay, when I am finished Legend of Dragoon, I have been being told slash badgered. I'm joking, but for a long time to play near Automata. So that's that is the next game after Dragoon near. Uh, and then it's either gonna be. You, Yakuza 3 that that's uh, high on the list or hmm. uh, I'm probably yeah yeah definitely near I'm just also thinking you know what to play after that because apparently near is like a decently long game I am, it might just be me going back to Darkest Dungeon 2. But it is an early access. And I still don't understand the hate for the Epic Store. I don't get it. Because the devs are getting a better cut. And they're, you know, able to make a bit more money. 
And ju but just because it's not on Steam's fucking monolith, some people hate it. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, that's the boss fight. There is a method of my madness. There is strategy. Because I want to go into this fight with Albert only having one level of Dragoon. Explosion. Because that way, on the first turn, I can use a uh, Rose Storm just to, you know. I don't know if this will kill. as if you knew any more than one level detrimental. Yeah, I, you know. <laughs> I totally haven't played the fuck out of this game. <laughs> hey, Ripper, how's it going? Welcome in. I'm already in Dragoon form, foe, so D-Spirit don't work. Actually, I'm going to use Rainbow Breath. Oh, don't get me wrong, like, I don't remember everything, but I still remember, like, m certain amounts of bullshit. Yeah. Actually. Well, there is actually something... There is actually something I picked up on here. I've been looking at the enemies I'm fighting and everyone is earth element. So, Albert is wind element and I have a wind element. Uh, Can this kill them? <laughs> Ching. Yeah, hope you're doing good, Ripper. And we were just talking about this, and I want to get your opinion if you follow the gaming space to, like, any big degree. What is your opinion of early access done right? Like, what is a game you've seen in early access that has just gone... When they used early access to improve upon the game, fix bugs, you know, and just generally make the game better. And when it came out in full release, it was really, you know, really well done. Yeah, th like, I'll just tell you. For me, it was it was Darkest Dungeon. F 
for uh, Coke and Toter, it's been uh, like don't starve together and oxygen not included. Like uh, Clay and uh, Red Hook uh, Studios, respectively. Yeah, just like for you personally, like what is the game you think of and you're like, I remember seeing that when it first came out in early access and they fucking knocked it out of the park. Okay. <sighs> All right. Question? Answer. Uh, uh, j uh, <laughs> nine, uh, if I'm just going pure basic uh, pizza all day, like pizza is simple, easy, and you know what? There is almost always a topping configuration or something of the like that almost everyone likes unless, you know, they have like a lactose or like, you know, they're allergic to something on it. Like you can fuck up pizza, but it's always a good. You can always be like. If you're sitting with a group of people, it's like, hey, I'm gonna order pizza. Y'all want some? Literally, ev almost everyone is gonna be like, oh, fuck yeah. With a, well, when you say Asian, do you mean like sushi or do you mean like Chinese food? Like, you know, don't get me wrong. I'll kill some sweet and sour pork and some chow mein. A piece of peking duck breast with wok veggies. That just sounds delicious. Peking duck is always yummy. All right. Oh boy. Dragon, this is the dragon block staff. It look very impressive. Yeah. Think about dragoon spirits. I was ordered the same thing at this one Asian place. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, the early access, the things that come to mind are Factorio, Project Zomboid, and Seven Days to Die. But two of those three are still in early access actively. I guess, for example, Factorio. Factorio is fun. Uh, also, I'll throw in Satisfactory. I actually legit enjoyed that game. I, I still should play it. I have it on the Epic Store. But yeah, it's like, I know some are still in early access, but you know, things like Seven Days to Die, like, that's almost a fucking release, because God, well, like, I'm pretty sure DayZ is still in technically in fucking early access, I think. I don't remember. I'll be honest, I stopped following DayZ ages ago. If I want to play like a a shooter like that, if anything, I'm gonna pick up Tarkov. Daisy is a concept, is a goddamn. You're not wrong. No. Yeah. It's gonna weaken the Divine Dragon, but. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Daisy was also one of the first first early access games. It's well, I know it's one of the ones that popularized it cuz Daisy originally was a mod from Arma 2 when it was a yeah, when it was a mod far superior. That, that's every that's everything I've heard. Once Daisy went standalone, it it got more notoriety, but it was like apparently like much worse than when it was just a mod. Speaking of mods and shit, I've also been wanting to play Teamfight Tactics. I have no interest in League of Legends, but an auto battler, like auto chess like that, looks super interesting and super fun. Just on a random tangent. Sandalone had expectations that had no chance to cash out. It was that, yeah. Uh, 
I'm just... For me? From what I'm watching, Tarkov looks amazing to me. The gun modification, the, you know. For me, I'll be blunt, I'm a loot whore. I love picking up through everything and seeing everything that I can fucking get. So a game like Tarkov, like, you're hitting the addiction receptor in me, like, hard. Like, that's the thing. Loot boxes and shit like that never hit my addiction receptors. But letting me, like, uh, no, actually. Because this sounds weird. You can't modify the guns in Borderlands. You just have to hope you get a good roll. Shit like Fallout. Like fa Fallout 4, I, which I do eventually want to play again, modded. I love the idea of shit being useful. Like, you're going into a place, give me all the fucking tape, give me all the screws, give me all the fans, so I can modify my guns and my weapons and my armor the way I want. I love that shit. Like, give me a Dragon Age Origins. Give me a Knights of the Old Republic. Let me fucking min-max my characters just stupidly. I, I love shit like that. Like, I can and will spend a fucking hour on Knights of the Old Republic tweaking every little fucking thing I can. Giving my guy dual lightsabers, making sure everyone has the best equipment. Shit like that. I thought that it's kind of my like my happy place. That or like if you want to go back, Vagrant Story. That crafting system was like oh like picking up all the all the weapons, all the items, especially with a limited inventory, was actually like you know, really fun. Like, don't get me wrong, Border let me put it this way. Borderlands 1 was great. It set the standard and set a good base concept. Borderlands 2 did a really good job expanding on it. It actually made it more fun. Borderlands 3 was fucking boring. Like, I, I'm just going to put it bluntly. Borderlands 3 was fucking boring to me. Handsome Jack was actually an interesting villain. The social media streamers are just, they were meh. I don't know, everything, it felt like they just took a step back. Like I didn't like the pre-sequel and I didn't like Borderlands 3. They're not bad games as a concept, but it feels like after Borderlands 2, they took a step back. Anyway, back to Legend of Dragoon. Well, I'll give you a perfect example. Once, uh, once crossplay comes in, I'm probably gonna be fucking playing Warframe again. That, that, it, Warframe is a crack addiction. And as I room with someone who is an original founder and has Excalibur Prime and shit, <laughs> like, it's insane the amount of, like, being able to tweak all the little stuff like I I literally a month ago learned what the fuck Riven mods were like I don't want to play it yet until crossplay comes in and then me and my roommate can actually like play it together on stream shit like that okay so, sorry to, to just go off on a fucking tangent there <laughs> I hope that was at least somewhat amusing. <laughs> Where it was just like, give me the staff. Give it. Give it. Give it. Eh. Ah. That is a motherfucker of motherfuckers. Oof, oh, that's gonna hurt Albert. Oh, 
Oof. But the kicker... Okay. Uh... I'm gonna actually give her speed up. Because she's just gonna be throwing out, you know, attack items. See? This is when I saving all these was actually useful. And I'm glad I didn't waste them on the fucking barrage this time. Okay. Wait. That was water. Okay, that's gonna hurt. Okay, ow. Now you'll under... Now Ripper, you know exactly why I only have one level. Because literally, that's why I did it. To get Rose Storm. Uh, can I actually ask you a Rose gameplay Storm. question about this? If you uh, remember uh, the Grand Jewel fight? What? I still have memory of the game. Over. Anytime you use magic, do, do, they, do they respond with a magic thing, like as a counter? Or was that just... Did that just happen to happen? It's just because, you know, I don't want to throw, like, magic. I don't want to throw this shit at them if it's just going to be constant counters every time I do. Because if that's the case, I'll just, uh... I'll just start whacking them. I don't remember much. Well. Well, we'll find out. Oof, okay, that was kind of garbo. Okay. No, it does not. Okay, good. I'm also finally getting these out of my fucking inventory. Oh shit, that's the... Oh fuck, I remember this. Goddamn level down. And then it's, oh god. I am so glad I have. Okay, good, Lavitz is not gonna be hit that hard. I should probably use a fucking healing breeze. Actually. Actually, no, I'm good. Uh, jeez. Oh, yeah, I'm good. Yes. Go. Hero. I'm saving all the stuff for Maru because she's got my highest magic stat. Emma. What the? Oh my god, my finger slipped. And because he's using because he's using the wind element is my Okay, yes, I was right. Okay. Oh. 
This looks painful. I don't remember what this one's called. All I remember is this is probably gonna fucking hurt. Oof. Well, I was correct. Uh, healing rain? No, just a healing breeze. Magic sig six stone. Okay, question. If I use a pandemonium, that means all attacks will only uh, target dart, right? For the next little bit? Or it, does that not work? Minor enemy, never mind. God damn it. Okay. Well. Yes. Mother. Fucker. Uh, Son of a. I need to get in there with another fucking... Wait. Oh, yeah. Please actually attack Maru. A... Thankfully, Maru has my highest magic defense, but she also has my least health. Okay, it's all good. Uh... Go with that. Ooh, woo, what's this? <laughs> yeah. Okay, that should put me so I can use fucking Rose Storm again. But that's fucking ugh. That's level down again. This is gonna fucking hurt. This. Albert's probably dead. Yep, that's opposite element and 10 levels down. You're a corpse. What the fuck? Um. Wait. Uh, actually, I'm gonna give you a healing potion. Let's go with an attack ball. Oh, another uh, night raid. Dragoon. Rose Storm. I'm just gonna defend. Yes. Go. Ah, 
son of a bitch. Where is defending, so... Oh, are you a corpse? Oof. She is so... Is it... Am I 15 levels down now? What the fuck? Healing breeze. Am I under level? Now the jewel just a sponge. Okay. Also, yeah, the fact I'm 15 levels fucking down. This is honestly the best movie can do for a simple reason. The same element as Albert and Maru, you know, she's... I do remember he does heal like X amount through the fight and it's like for like 1300, so he's a bastard. Yes, actually, please do that. Yes, keep using wind element attacks on my wind element dragoon. Like. Actually. I don't have any MP, but. I just want to do this as a test. Because Okay, good. Oh, this is level up. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Actually, that's not as terrible as I thought it was going to be. I'm so glad I just, I'm so glad I just defended with Albert. Oof, oof, oof. Okay, uh. 
This is gonna be my first use of a healing rain. That is what I saved them for. That, I don't know what, okay. Okay. Oh shit, that's the one he's been using on me. Payback's a bitch! Okay. I still remember he does heal. If nothing else, Dart will probably get his fucking level 5 Dragoon off this. There it is. And it's like 1300? Yep. Okay, that's actually not terrible. I can, I can deal. And I believe that is the only time that happens. Alright, I fucked up there. All right, uh, questions. Is there any place I can buy healing rains? Or is, I know you can get them in Lohan, but they're for a ridiculous price. Like you have to uh, do the uh, mini game, like it's like 60 tickets. There we go. Near this point of the game. Yeah, fair. I still... S five... Oh! I recall having them in the final dungeon. Okay. That was a fucking beast of a hit. I have no more attack items. Oh, and I discovered something that made me sad. Uh, you know the uh, repeatable item you can get in Kazas when you're going to fight Dole? Once you leave there, you can't go back and get it. At all. I tried. Oof. That is big fucking oofers. All right, I'm gonna use my last healing breeze. I want to save a healing rain. I really want to use Maru's Dragoon form and heal, but I can't. And I keep fucking up additions, so I'm annoyed with myself. Good. I actually I'm gonna spend a spend a 
spin around fucking guarding. Okay, sweet. Okay, he's in the red. That's exactly the one I needed you to use. Thank you. God damn. Okay, I know I can buy healing fogs. Just get your ass up, Albert. If that's a kill. That was some nice fucking damage, though. Is that the. God damn it, that's the level down thing again. Okay, Dart's defending Maru's fine, because she... And, uh, okay. Just don't, don't, don't kill Albert. He's full health. And these hurt. These hurt like a motherfucker. Oh! Eh, uh, hey! What you need to do? Get the fuck out of my chat example, wow. Okay, well I okay, I'm Maru has to sacrifice herself for this. I'm not happy that I have to do this. Because I have one healing rain left. So you're also going to see the mechanic that I've been largely able to avoid throughout this fight. And dra yep, there it is. Dragon block staff. Attack and defense powers. Yep. Maru is basically wearing paper right now. Oh. Because, yeah, like using that would do nothing. So I'm going to heal again. Basically, if he, when they use a magic attack, Maru's going to die. I'm not sure how much this is going to heal for. It's probably going to be next to nothing. I'm going to be real with you. Oh, no. I think that was just a top up. Ha! 
Albert, you fucking beast. Oh shit. Hey. Dragoon level five. The Red Eye Dragon. Yeah. Boop. Of course we didn't. I will be right back. I just need to go use the washroom. So enjoy the music. I am back. Okay. Now, before I go forward, I'm going back, healing, and saving. Hey Ripper, I got one for you. What is a w random factoid about Legend of Dragoon that you can think of off the top of your head? Just a random factoid, like whether it be like something to do with uh, the development cycle, weird little, uh, you know, bugs. Oh yeah, I need to take workout sash off him. Back the plant Sony had plans for a sequel. <laughs> All right, I got one for you. One second. Do, do, do. That if you go, uh, it would in uh, terms of directions. If you're going down into the left you are twice as likely to get an encounter. I believe, yeah. Apparently some way the, the thing is coded. If you are going bottom left, you are twice as likely to get into an encounter. Good thing. Oh, much left in the game. Oh, wait. Yeah. They said apparently the best way to uh, uh, test this was in uh, the Barrens. Because, you know, you can see a significant difference. Sorry, yeah. I'm going back to heal. Okay, arm. He does not need the War God Sash anymore. Uh, what am I gonna give him? And I'll give that one to Maru. Because, yeah, Spirit Ring is good, but the fact it's like a blatant 50, see, yeah, bottom left. But, yeah, 
if someone does want to do like an uber grind like literally the area i'm standing in is like perfect Is he done with Rod Typhoon? Because if I could move on to Gust of Wind Dance, that would be a. I got another Dancer's Ring. The Max and the CKV go through with Rose. Because those drill enemies. Damn, I'm almost done with Madness Hero. Okay. He's uh, about halfway, th just over halfway through Rod Typhoon. Get my game next in. I can hear Shark. Dart shout, Madness Hero! Summon four gods. Demons Day. Eh. There we go. And now I'm going to save because I don't want to fight the fucking Grand Jewel again. I, all I can say is I'm looking forward to... Uh, I'm looking forward to the Faust fight. The one thing I am going to do, though, is before I fight him, I am going to buy a Legend Kosk. I am not going into that fight without that item. Granted, once you have it, it literally breaks the rest of the game over its knee in terms of difficulty. Let's, let's be real here. Would, would, what would you what would you say is more I never actually fought fast oh he is a rough fight fuck cause like picture grand jewel on steroids with uh uber counters that fucking poison god damn it Okay, well, I'm I'm literally dragooning to get rid of poison. You haven't fought fast. That I'm actually surprised. He is like uh, the hidden uber boss for a reason. But like. Are you fucking serious? Sixty-four points, nice. Okay. I've got three fucking dancers rings. I have a question. What the fuck is my luck? Oh, and I have a bandit's ring. And I have the dancer's shoes. Is my Terraria luck coming back? Game heard you like agility. They're not wrong. But, oh. But basically, in case you're wondering what I mean when I say Terraria luck, 
long before I streamed, I used to play uh, Terraria with uh, some friends of mine. Like long, in the old, old days. God. But, uh... I would I had stupid good luck for items in that game. Like have you played Terraria at all? Okay. All right. Well, you know in hell the flying, you know, demon who dropped that really good magic spell, uh, Demonic Scythe or whatever. My uh, friends were telling me like, hey, uh, when you get down to hell, keep an eye out for these guys, because this is a really useful like magic spell. The first one I kill drops one and it rolls godly. So yeah, literally, I'm pretty sure that is, yeah. Yes. God damn it. I never did cast my build. Uh, I heard my friends whine about how they never seen an item from them. Yeah. yeah. Early game, I always went after Water Bolt because the th first thing I want, I wanted to farm the Uzi from those honey. Oh. Fuck. Uh. God. This is making me want to do a Terraria playthrough again. Because for me, the first item that I always came back to, I always wanted in my, whenever I started, was the fucking lucky horseshoe. Because fuck fall damage in that game. But yeah, I always like, that was like my first thing was find a sky island and get a lucky horseshoe. Because negating fall damage is, you know, literally amazing. I, f I literally didn't know until right now that, uh, oh geez. You're not dead. I was never, I would use like uh, the first gun that drops. Oh God, I think it was like a musket or something. But I was never much into the guns. I was always a melee. Uh, was it melee? Fuck, I, I literally, it's been so long since I played. Oh, oh, the, no, the one gun I did use was the meteor gun because literally it would. Because literally with the full set, it would be fr a free fucking magic gun. But you want to hear? I have never gotten into hard mode. Not that I haven't like been into hard mode. I've never beaten a boss in it. I've never like dealt with the blight. Not the blight, but. Oh jeez. Cannot be. Oh shit. Too early? Yeah, tell that to the Divine Dragon.
That's a big shadow. Oh, yeah, we gotta go. Shit. Neil. What's up? Yes, yes. Do it. Fucking Super Saiyan this shit, Ancestor. Oof. Oh shit. Yeah. Hey! Garaha. Ah! Oh shit. Cutscene time. The Divine Dragon does not fuck around. I'm coming. Thank you. Yes, it's it's also very scary. Absolutely. Uh, where's the fucking stardust? You alright, bruh?
Oh shit. Yes, you're alive. What the fuck? Ow! Alright, Wink. Oh, jeez. Get bright. Yay. She's just like, oof. Oh. Yay. Yeah, basically. Yeah, I was going to say, what the fuck happened? Oh, fuck. Shana. She passed out.
Mountain of Oak. Mountain of Mortal Dragon. Yee. Alright. Alright. And spoiler, before I fight the Divine Dragon... I'm going to be doing some fucking grinding. And this is grinding. Because. Yeah. I. Want every, everyone to be at least low 30s. Before I fight the dragon. Because. I remember. The divine dragon. Is fucking Nasty. Actually, Ripper, if you're still here, what what should I aim for in terms of level? Like, should I at least, I'm thinking minimum 30, like average 30. Yeah, just I'm thinking thirty ish. Congo. I I feel like Congo sometimes just you rest good. Mount Dragon Tomb. Now, as I recall, that is literally a fuck up, like a translation fuck up. Because everyone calls it Mount. Beam for yeah, I saw that too. I don't know what the fuck that was. I legit don't remember. I have a. F oh wait, Sardis person. Hey. <laughs> Casualty, excuse me. Oh yeah, oh no, I, I've, I've got some. Come here. Ooh. A rainbow era, boy. <laughs> rainbow earring. What? What does that do again? Oh, that's insanely fucking good. Bear back. Sorry.
All right. <laughs> the armor of legend. Okay. How much did the dancer's ring selling? Now that I read about it, Divine Dragon has a rare drop for them that halves physical damage. Oh, fuck. Angel Scarf? Phantom Shield? Dragon Shield, thank you. Here's the thing. I want you to look at the character model that I'm talking to right now. It is literally... <laughs> it's literally a cardboard cutout. I love this shit sometimes. Okay. Now I'm just, actually, first things first, I'm gonna go to the inn and fucking heal. Now, if I, if I'm willing to bite the bullet, I might have 10,000 gold. If I have 10,000 gold, I'm going to fucking Lohan right now. Okay. Well, I technically have it, but I'd have to give up the ultimate war god. That is my biggest fucking... ...thing right now. Oh, he has the bandits right. And... I do have a bunch of like... Like, I'll be honest, I don't need any of the broadswords, bastard swords. I have a lot of doubles I can sell. Like, if I wanted, I could just sell the War God and be done with it. But, uh. 
Okay. Okay, let's just... Okay. Okay. Right now, I only want to sell things I have doubles of for weapons. Okay. I have two beast fangs. Okay, personally, I don't think I'll need leather armor or scale armor. Oh, you know, okay, you could just tell me. Am I going to need leather armor or scale armor for any reason for the rest of the game? I'm pretty sure I'm not. Like, I can sell... Oh, he sold the... I'm not selling the angel robe. If there, yeah. Okay. I'm, if I like, if it's like fire-based attack shit, I will keep it. Yeah, if it, yeah, if it's got like a... I, should I just get rid of two of these dancers rings? Or like... Hmm. I'm looking for things I have doubles of. Wait, oh, okay, there we go. Actually, now we're talking. So I'm gonna get rid of uh, Panic Guard. One stun guard. One bravery amulet. Uh, one war gods. I can get rid of one 
dancer's ring because I can never use all three at once. Even if my like my party will always have dart in it. So even at best, like you know, because if I'm doing the math correctly, right? Yeah, since it's only, and I've already got, I've already got three, yeah, and I can't have a full female group. So, that's an extra 250, yay. like what I'm tech currently armed with. Increases. Hmm. I'm just going like, I don't think I need salad, any of the salads, any of the armaments. Silver vest? No, the. I'm just seeing like any of the shit worth it. Just because I you you know. Like the. Like the tiara, like that might be okay but that I take such a hit to my magic attack and defense. It's not worth it to me. I'm just, the wrong thing. Anyway, 2,000 away, I meant. Opinion. Which one is more worth it? Ruby ring or sapphire pin? Like... Okay, we're actually...
Okay, I have the big shield. Nothing. That's off. Never too big on any recovery, Jesus. Should I just get rid of fake shield? I kind of keep it around as a joke. Okay, we got 8,400. Let me just save quick. gonna give you the and I'm gonna give you the ultimate war god again Maru will get the war god sash Might as well give everyone something. Uh, I'm gonna give you the physical ring spirit ring there we go I recall. Hey, we're back to the normal fight music now. Yes, go! Madness, hero! Red. Should we, okay, opinion, should we do something stupid or something really stupid? Let me know, stupid or really stupid? Oh, it works. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, well, what I mean by stupid or really stupid is kill or overkill. Should I? Do you want me to go full overkill? You said it. Mind purifier. A spoiler. We're not going there right now. Uh, question. Uh, Ripper, can you uh, look up something for me? If you are not busy. Or anyone in chat if uh, they're available. These special monsters. Which one? Uh, I know there's one near, near Lohan. Uh, what is... It's, it gives cash, right? I know there's a special monster right outside of Lohan. Because if I can go farm a couple sachets and then just go kill that thing. Redbird, uh, is Redbird available to me right now, is my question. Like, one to Fernie and the one to Denny. Ooh. Okay. Is it immune to physical or magical? Bird is vulnerable only to magic damage. US version of the bird drops one grand. Cool. Okay. But as I recall, how much uh, health does it have? Four? Four or five? Five? Okay. No, it's like... Yes. Gush. Ha, ha. 
because Dragoon magic counts as magic. So I'm thinking if I can get the fucking uh, stun thing on it and then just go, you know, Dragoon. And Dart just got a level. Minor enemies for from attacking. That's I have it. Ma uh, magic signet stone, I believe it's called. But if that's the case, I'm gonna go into Fernie. I'm gonna heal up. Uh, no, I want to go to the front. Ah, uh, ah, crap! I've dropped a few frames. How's it go? How's it looked on y'all's end? We okay though? Yeah, it, it, uh, point one. Okay, we're fine. Okay, sweet, sweet. Sorry about the other day uh, with uh, the with me just killing the stream. Literally, it was like 50 minutes in. I had like 5,000 drop frames, and it wasn't getting any better. So I was just like, the, I don't know if it was like Endwalker, and you know, Twitch just getting bombarded because of it. I'm not sure. If, uh, well, familiar with connection issues. Yeah, okay, uh, if I'm gonna be doing that, I want Maru to always go first. Because that way I know that I can throw the thing on them and then speak of the fucking devil. Oh, you didn't run. Now, magic signet stone. Now this is the particular enemy you said it has five health. Uh, is immune to physical damage and only takes magic damage. C correct. Okay. Okay. And from what I understand, the power of the magic attack doesn't matter because no matter, as long as it's successful, it does one damage. Because this way, I can just use Flame Shot. Uh, the damage is magical. Okay, one damage.
Yeah, Satchet does 10 damage and it is magical. If I want it, I would have to go farm it from the Homo Gigantos from the piggies. Now, this goes off, and I'm pretty sure Maru, because her speed is 110, should get a turn. Okay, that's three. Okay, that's the second time it cannot move. Because it has one more cannot move in it. That's three. This is why I equip Maru with the with the dancer's ring and the uh, dancer shoes. Because her speed is astra fucking nomical. No, 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 no. That was a bad that. No, come on. Don't run. Don't run. Come on. Come on, Dart. Okay, what the fuck's a phoenix plume? Like, okay, money, 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 money. Did I just get my Terraria luck again? Or was that a guaranteed drop? be really good fuck okay I lose five defense seven magic defense uh, seven magic okay my magic defense goes up but my magic attack goes down and my defense goes down no actually that is holy fuck that is worth it okay I'm 400 away, so what I'm going to do, go back to Fernie, rest, save, do it again. Is, uh, is Phoenix Plume just a rare drop, or is that a guaranteed drop when you kill a red bird? Sorry if I'm asking so many questions. Well, actually, I'm not, I'm... <laughs> Why am I apologizing? These are things I'm just trying to, but... That's... But yeah, fear, confusion, bewitchment, dispiriting. So it... Say, you know, it covers your mind, basically. Rainbow earring just is everything. That's amazing. But, like, you know... You have a couple of those, it's like, hey, I don't need mind purifiers anymore.
When Mar when Maru missed that last freezing ring, I was just like, no, please don't run. No, please don't run. No, please don't run. Yeah. Okay, I'll save. I don't say rare drops either. Oh, I'm an idiot. I don't have any of my fucking dragoon levels. I just realized that. Rude. What the fuck? Fuck! Oh. Okay, okay. We back? Okay, hey, welcome back, everybody. Uh, thankfully, the local recording didn't get affected, but the stream just went poof for a second. That was weird. Right. You literally missed me fighting a flying rat, so we're good. Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, hey, it doesn't say we dropped any frames. It lit. The connection just fucking died. Hey! Motherfucker! He just bitched out completely. But yeah. If we get another one of those and we are able to get... How fast are these fucking things is my question. Because Maru has 110 speed. Honestly, we could go back to Lohan and just farm the last 300. What do you think? Well, more like 200. 
Yeah, we'll try for one more. I just realized I'm an idiot and I need to go back to Deningrad quick. Yep, bear that looks like a golem. Hey. What the? My apologies for all the drop frames. I don't know what's going on. Oh no, it's it's still hostile. I uh, We already had a disconnection and then this. Wait. Okay. Sorry. Sorry about this on the recording. The connection just absolutely shit the fucking bed. Okay. We seem to be stable now. Oh, no. Trust me, I can see it on, on that end. It threw a fucking fit. If nothing else, this uh, levels up people's additions, so I'm not... Like, super fast. Yes. Go. I'm, I'm just gonna go to Lohan and farm the farm the 200. Oh, I was gonna check my additions. Nice. Almost done with those. Lohan's a bit of travel away, but in terms of worth it, yeah. All right. 
And does the bird bird in Lohan is uh, not? Uh, front is not immune to physical, right? Because if I have to, you know. So it, the wiki should have where it's located as well. Either way, like, I can still do what I did in Lohan, because, but, you know, thankfully, 200, uh, 200 gold is not that bad. Ten more madness heroes and two more levels. I believe it, but off the top of my head, I believe it is blue or rainbow bird. What I need, but hey, I need to go back to fucking Lohan anyway. No, oh, son of a. That is incredibly useful. <clears throat> oh, a as a side note. If you're curious the thing I'm using, it's uh, a... <clears throat> completely legal version that is slightly modified known as the duck station don't google that you know totally won't give you uh something you're looking for Ahem, <clears throat> cough cough shifty eyes shifty eyes shifty eyes Totally don't Google it and don't realize it's one of the most convenient emulators, you know, on the market. No, not at all. <clears throat> what? Sorry, I didn't say anything. Huh? It's actually fairly new and it's like, actually, sh spoiler, shockingly good. But I didn't say that. Exactly, exactly. Hey, yo. 
I was having issues with my Elgato. And, you know, I found a workaround. As you do. I'm totally not thinking of first-timing uh, Symphony of the Night via this. No, not at all. What's this say? Well. Here, yeah, here's the thing. Elgatos do have issues, but at the same time, they're still the best fucking capture cards on the market. Just because my, my issue, like, I have an HD60S and a Game Capture HD. Hey, gaspless. Nice. And uh, I have some issues with capturing the PS3. Like, regardless of which one I use, it's a pain in the fucking dick. And the funny thing is though, with my Game Capture HD, which is the OOG one, I can capture my PS2 without a worry. I haven't streamed anything on the PS, PS2, but I've tested it out and there is, you know, I can capture. And, and I have, one of the, I have the Xenosaga series. Ooh, we are five gold away. Crash, corruption. All your work is gone. I'll just put it this way. If something like that did happen, the amount of rage uh, yes. Here's the thing. If you're... I will... Be... Right back. And then I'll explain. Alright, I'm back. And as I was saying, uh, yeah, it had the HDCP protocol. Here's the thing that only happens if you were doing it via HDMI. If I just do it, like I was trying to do it via analog, and it was, it was working fine, and then all of a sudden it just, it didn't work. Which, spoiler, is very frustrating. So, like, yeah. I could, if I was playing, like, say, retro games on the PS3, I could absolutely just use analog. For 10,000. Oh yeah. The constant troubleshooting. Oh, I, I do, I understand I completely do. Oh! Motherfucker, that's a magic jar.
you know exactly where the fuck I'm going. All right. One second. Okay. I believe it's this guy. Hopefully I got everything correct. Yep. Yes, you did put your heart into making these. And you... <sighs> or I could buy two dragon shields, two angel scarfs, a phantom shield. This is all my money. Yes. Okay, this is what Maru is saying to bosses right now. And then when she fucking finishes him off. Final flash! Go ahead. Flip that coin. Taka, Taka delivered that fucking line so well. Yeah. Arm. Okay, I just want to see. Oh, fuck. Look at her magic defense. Jesus Christ. I half want to give it to Dart. Actually, yeah. And 50% fucking magic avoidance. What's the ruby ring do again? I forgot. Oh. Meh. I'll, I'll actually go with the therapy ring for him. Oh my god. To break it down. This. Okay. <clears throat> nope. Th th this is me f with for the rest of the game. Clean up, I'll corpse. Sorry, it just I just heard the difficulty go out of the game with like a fucking
Like this is more, I'm legit debating trying to farm the, the divine dragon. Because you said he drops a dragon shield. I'm almost done with Madness Hero, so then all I'll have left is, uh, fuck. Moonstrike, and then Blazing Dynamo. Because to be legit, I don't need another piece of head armor for dart for the rest of the game nothing is better than the legend cost yeah I got 25 gold Like in my in your opinion, is this enough of a game breaker to just you know not worry about l levels? Hmm. I never worried about leveling without the broken. God damn it, really? We're dropping frames again? <sighs> At this point, I'm just gonna keep going. Well, just to let everyone know if you can hear me and it's not fucking absolutely glitching out. But it is. Okay. Fuck. We're gonna get to a uh, because the connection is still being fucking hostile. We're gonna get to Denigrad. Grab the last Stardust I missed. Are you fucking serious right now? Because it had, yeah, it had a moment of hostility. But yeah. But I can't keep dealing with these microaggressions. But no, like I... Ah. Ah. Sorry, something in my eye. Motherfucker. Ow. Come on. Here we go. I apologize for all the curse. Make you wish I went full psycho and not this blue ball. Yeah. Like, if you're gonna crash, just fucking crash. Like, just you know, internet go down or something. Like, have a reason. Not just a, oh, oh, oh. Like, listen, as someone who's been blue-balled before, like, 
I'd rather not have it in fucking streaming and video games. You know. Go through with the vinegar strokes or just fucking walk away. Oh, hey. The one you said you uh, worked on Madness Hero on. I'm actually going to use... I just want to get another, uh... There we go. I just wanted to get him out of the yellow. Oh, and you're... Thank you! Thank you! Cool, Hammerspin just got another level. Yep, just, you know what? Keep doing your physical barrier. Thank you for literally being my, my addition farm. Fuck. I was thinking about other... Other things to add to my soundboard, but I'm not sure what else. Like, I've, I've got a few good clips, like, I was just, like... I was thinking some stuff from, like, Helsing Abridged, or, you know, the TFS has, like, you know, fucking oodles of stuff I, I'd love to pull from. I, like, I, I just want to put, like, you know what? Fuck it. Knife. Knife? Knife. Drill pack. God damn it. I just want you to do a physical barrier so I can... Thank you! I was listening to Zero Punctuation earlier, and all of a sudden it started playing again. And if you want something I could pull fucking quotes from. Or, okay, what do you think? Should I get something silly like a fucking air horn? For, for a soundboard. I wouldn't know. Uh, yeah. I've kind of got some decent stuff. Yeah, I, I, I've kind of got a decent setup here. It helps when you work with sound equipment and you can actually look into stuff and see what's decent. So yeah, like... I can't get access to the stuff I would use at work because I don't have thousands and thousands of dollars.
Oh, I went in the other way. Yeah, when you have to deal with a mixer, it generally costs more than people's fucking houses. Yeah. I, I've just got to go XLR Mini. For, and I got it on a... I think it was Black Friday? A, a couple of year, A year ago? Fuck, I don't remember. But just, you know. I picked up a, a Go XLR and a, and a mic on a Black Friday... I think it was like, I think just before I started streaming, I think. Wow. I'll stay through the night. Well, uh, out of cu just my curiosity, what do you use? Like, what's your mic uh, mixer uh, setup? Or, like, when when you do stream, you know, are you a webcam person or are you an avatar person like me? VTubing a mixer? Oh. I'm a okay. You're rocking like a headset mic? Cool. You're... <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, are you set up on a swing arm? Like, are you have like a boom arm, is the term. Attached to your desk? Or are you, do you have uh, a stand for it? I'm well aware. Uh, sh uh, yeah, you should be fine. You're gonna, okay. Yeah, you didn't get. Oh, that's a, oh. For bare bones, that's really good. That's exactly what you want. Got got the headset there. You've got a pop. Okay, you have a pop filter. You are better than 80% of fucking streamers. Well done. Like, you've got two monitors. You've got a good, like, for a starting streamer, that is a fucking great setup. Because you do the thing like, oh, I got a Yeti or whatever. But as long as you noise gate it, and as long as you have a pop filter, and you know, and you know the rule of, you know, uh, God, oh, fuck, oh God, what did my teacher call that? Fuck, uh, I forget the term, but like, the closer you get to your mic, the the lower your voice has to be. like you literally have to talk softer the farther you get away the more you can enunciate like uh three fingers there should always if you're speaking normally like i am now there should be three fingers between your mouth and your pop filter just so you don't get peeking and clipping That was the trick I was always taught. If you're trying to be silly, you can always get close to the mic like this, but you'll notice, like, my voice gets louder, but you'll notice I don't start peeking. I don't, you know. Because the closer you are, but if you remember, if you notice if you go too hard, like, the another way it was described is don't eat the fucking pop filter. But... Before you say anything, the pop filter should be in front of you. Yeah, like... And here's the... 
God fucking damn it. I don't de- Should be set up in a manner then about five to six inches away. Exactly. Oh no, I- I- Honestly, I'd say the worst is... Like here- Yeah. The worst thing is noise, is you make sure you noise gate. Basically, what that means is if you are not talking, there's no background noise. That is the biggest thing. Like, you'll notice when I stop talking, there's no hum, there's no buzz, there's no background noise, nothing, because there I have a noise gate. Which, like, my chair squeaking, my the keyboard clicking. Little things like that always help. And see, there you go. See, you, you say you're bare bones, but you're putting in forth more effort than some fucking partners. I can guarantee it. Oh, cool. I did not know that existed. But yeah, that, that, that is the biggest thing with Yetis and you fixed it. Like, make sure you have a noise gate, because those mics can be sensitive. Like I always said, Yeti is good. They're decent. Like, they're perfect entry level. You know. But, you know. that That is my biggest thing with Yetis from the ones I've ones I've seen. They're sensitive. Yeah. And also this sounds weird, but you also have to know your own voice. Yup. You are absolutely correct. Out of the box, they're frustrating as fuck to deal with. But it also like, it also comes down to stuff like, is it omnidirectional? Is it like directional? Is it a shotgun mic? Is, you know. Like a perfect example. I'm now about three feet away from the mic. I probably sound like I'm in the next goddamn room. You know, things like that. But yeah, no, I literally from that what you sent me, you're actually putting in more forth and effort than some fucking partners I've seen. This has four settings I can to stereo to cartoon to Omni. Honestly, Omni is this is a personal yeah. This is just a personal preference thing with me. I I don't like I don't like omnidirectional. It it's a pers it, it's just a personal thing with me. Omnidirectional tries to do too much. It like it can, if it's your only option for a thing then you know you know do work with what you got but almost always if you're like doing something with someone 
you want everyone to have their own thing. It's, I, you know. Hell, back when I used to raid, I used to use headset mics. Oh, God. I, I look back at those and I just go, how did people even fucking understand me? Because I'll be blunt. 99.9% .9 of headset microphones are hot shit. They're bad. Just hard stop. They're bad. Like, but I'll say this much headset mics. Oh, yeah. For, for convenience sake, if you're going to, like, lands or that kind of thing, they're absolutely fucking perfect. But if you're at home with your own setup, like, it's... Like, uh, I'll give you an example. My headset right now is a Steel Series. It's got a built-in microphone. I think it's a Steel Series... Oh god, hang on. Yeah. I think it's so uh, key. Is it an Arctis? I don't remember. B2s. Yeah, before these, I had a pair of Sennheisers that I rode into the fucking ground. Because honestly, I fucking love Sennheisers. Microphones, well. Because they're literally, they're meant to be able to, you know, communicate. Doesn't, it's like, oh, our microphone's great. It's like, no, it's not like, oh God, I've got like my current microphone that you're hearing me speak into is an Audio-Technica 2020. It's got an XLR going into a GoXLR Mini, which honestly is fucking fantastic. A simple, easy mixer that, you know, just does what it says on the tin. I can mute each separate channel. I've got my own button. And, you know, it's just convenient, it's simple. I've also got a stream deck because, spoiler, it was on sale. And especially when you do tier maker stuff like I do when I'm with the uh, Yeti is the highest tier. Well, Yeti. Uh, honestly, apparently the Wave Three, the new Razor one, is actually apparently really fucking decent. Uh, and the big boy that has been like at the top of the uh, the top of the heap for the longest time has been like a sure SM7 SM7B. Speaking from price point, oh yeah. Actual build quality, yeah. Like AT2020 for the money is actually fucking really decent. Like it. Like, I'll put it this way, though. Like, a sure SM7B, like, which is, like, a, almost studio-quality standard in a lot of places. And, like, a lot of higher-end streamers, like, Ko and It Me JP, and almost, you know, Tim the Tatman, use an SM7B. But it's also 700 fucking dollars. Listen, I do this as a hobby. And I've spent a lot of money on my hobbies over the years. I am not spending $700 on a microphone. The mixer and the microphone alone, I'm pretty sure didn't cost me $700. Because I also, well, I got them on. Yeah, exactly. If this was my job, if I was a 
partner, if I was pulling in thousands of views and it was like financially viable, then absolutely I'd go for that stuff. But, you know. All right. Well, I think we'll go up until the first save point at uh, the Mountain of the Mortal Dragon. I both said that streaming was my job. Uh, nah, I, I personally would disagree just because I, I think no matter what, I'd love gaming. Like I'll, like I love gaming no matter what. Even though I'm dealing with drop frames, even though I'm dealing with issues, like I've loved gaming since I was a fucking sperm. And being able to do something I love, okay. If yes, go. <laughs> Game that I'm trying to have a dickhead ruining the experience. But that's completely understandable. For me though, stuff like I always think like if that's the case if there's just someone being a fucking, you know, absolute cock jockey, I can just ban them. God damn it. streaming experience and as a hobbyist I could be a bit more liberal with my behavior that's fair I just have to deal with fucking bots because as you may have noticed since you've been hanging no compared if I was more well known I'd have to act professional <laughs> I'm not like disputing that, just. I know some uh, professional streamers who act like fucking children. I'm just gonna put it that way. I would call them the opposite of professional. <laughs> like. Like, and they get. Tens of thousands of views, because I guess people want to see the fucking monkey show. Yeah. But I'm gonna use a line Stone Cold Steve Austin said about uh, his character. The best characters in wrestling are literally just yourself turned up. Which is, you know... Which is point blank, that's what you get with, you know, a lot of streamers. You get who... Because I always put it this way. Uh, when you watch someone like... Okay, give me an example up. 
who is someone you tend to watch? Like you tend to lurk yes. and you just passively consume their content. I think uh, someone who's a bit more excitable. Like, generally, they aren't giving you them. S yeah. Large stream. Yeah, I didn't say it had to be a larger streamer, just. A lot of times when someone's like uber high energy. Like, always fucking, you know. When they're always at a 10. They are putting on, like, a gimmick. They're putting on a character for the stream. Like, uh... My best example, it would be someone... And they've talked about this. Is Ezekiel the Third. They're big, loud, boisterous. But they've said, like, if you meet, they've, they've said on, like, in interviews and such, like, if you meet me at a con, I am, you know, chill as hell. Because, you know, you want to, you know, this sounds weird. If you want to get the most bananas, you got to be the most energetic monkey. You got to attract the most attention. And, you know. Someone like Zeke does it via high energy or like crazy stuff like that. Other people like say the Happy Hob. He does it through insanely skilled gameplay. Other people do it via controversy or, you know, literally testing the boundaries of Twitch rules. I can't stand you. No, I'm with you. But there, for me, there's a line between enthusiasm and like, there's people who get clicks via controversy. People want to see the monkey flinging the shit. <laughs> I'd rather not say any names, but do you get what I mean? People want to see the monkey flinging the shit. Okay, hey, Maru's done. Okay, I just need, I don't. Yeah, I, I've seen quite a, my, quite a fair share as well. What people see in that? It's a show, literally. That's what people see, It's it's a show. People want to see what the monkey is going to do next. People want to see what controversy is going to come up. Which streamer is going to, you know, that's why stuff like live stream fails is so popular. But you'll notice the most popular stream there, streamers on there are, you know, just chatting people. Or yeah, people who have controversial opinions or tend to, uh, let's just say, Skid along Twitch rules just to see what they can get away with. Fair to say? It's, yeah, I like it. As for me, literally, my skirting of Twitch rules. Doesn't exist because I'm I'm just a giant fucking nerd playing you know Legend of Dragoon. And sadly, but for a lot of those people, it's part of the game. You you know it's. It's what Eric Bischoff used to say. Controversy creates cash. 
People want to see what you're going to do next. People want to know what's going to happen next. And some people find it so amusing, they'll just literally give people money. But people just see it as literally just something amusing to watch on the road to the grave. But everyone's different. You know, like you said yourself, you're like, you would rather have a streamer who is, you know, five or six out of ten enthusiasm wise, but who can actually hold the conversation and have an idea rather than, you know, chasing trends or chasing memes. It also, this sounds weird, but I found it also depends on stream that exactly. You'd rather have a stream where you can actually ask a question and the stream will notice an answer. And I understand in bigger streams that can be harder. Spamming. This sounds weird, but I'm glad Pepe emotes were taken back by the Twitch community. Because what, you know, I understand they were overtaken by, you know, people who I charitably called the scum of the fucking earth. But like, there, there is some funny Pepe ones. Like, I don't go out of my way to like spam them. It's just, I know of them and I think some of them are amusing. Like Pepe arrive and Pepe leave. But that's just a personal thing. Like, Some people despise those emotes. In moderation, yeah. Like a, a perfect example of it done well and well. Moderation. For me, it depends on the context. Like, if, uh, say, we'll just use Raynar Vez Jr. as an example. He is someone I legitimately enjoy watching. I think he's funny. I think he's, you know, the, he's always on top of his game. And it's just, it works. Oh, hey, Giganto Armor. Uh, I wonder who that's for. Jesus Christ. But I will say like, Ray does get a few thousand people, but also, um, he has a very good mod team. Like, he has a lot of systems in place, which help. Like, certain bigger, bigger streamers, like, uh, like a fucking XQC or whatever, that's no. That's just beyond ridiculous. Because one thing I've kind of like. I'll say it jokingly, but you'll notice something like me. Like I know where I'm at on the on the pecking order. Like I can look at my numbers. Like I'm just being legit now. Like I can look at my numbers and be like, yeah, I am an I in the eyes of Twitch and the streaming community. I am a fucking nobody. I am, I'm under no illusions. That, but that's also why you'll notice 
I'll never ask for a follow. I'll never ask for a sub. I'll never ask for a host. Because, point blank, I know there would be no point. And it, and it, and then what I've been saying before would just come across as fucking disingenuous. Yeah. Oh, wait. Dragon Helm. You mentioned that before. Oh! Okay, that's insanely fucking good. Did she wear that? Oh yeah, that's going on her. Maybe first thing. Like, I'll say it as a gag, but I'm, you know, 10 followers. Who oh, you do the follow phrase and ironically? But yeah, ten followers and follower only. It's like no. Declaration of War. Okay. okay. Question. If I go up there, does that trigger the the, the Divine Dragon fight? Because I don't want to do that today. Like, or is there like a save point or something up there? Before it? Oh shit. I'll have to take a peek. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna exit out of the mountain, the mountain. Just for my own safety, cause I, don't think I'm ready for yes. the divine dragon yet. I want at least Moonstrike before I go there. That that is, you know. I'm gonna actually have to check Albert because he might be on Gust of Wind Dance finally. I know Maru's almost uh, level. Fuck. Oof. Slowly but surely trying to expand my social media presence. Just because, well, spoiler, I do want people to watch. Because, you know, I find social interaction like this fun. It's why I do stuff with Tear Maker with, uh, my, with uh, friends of mine. Because I like the debates. Like, I like talking about silly stuff. And when you can get into an argument about peanut butter or like black cherry, black raspberry ice cream and literally pull like 10 fucking clips of stuff, of silly stuff y'all said in the thing, like, you know, 
It's it's fun. Like, but I'm still debating. Like, do I start a Discord? Like, you know, where do I go from here? Like, if I, like, you know, like, what do I add below? Do I start really pushing my Twitter and my YouTube? Or would I just seem like a complete fucking dick waffle for that? When I've literally got nothing. Like, I'll tell you right now. My YouTube is VOD storage. Uh, yes. Literally, on a pizza, there's two toppings I don't like. I generally, I don't like anchovies. And I'm not big on uh, black olives. Everything else is fine on it. My sense used to be absolutely disgusting. Nah. Nah. For me, this is how I think of pineapple on pizza. Pizza on its own. I can't ever go for it, but someone buying me a pizza, I can eat it. Well, this is how I always think of it. Pizza, the base of a pizza is dough, tomato sauce, and cheese. Right? A basic, you know, fucking... If you're getting a plain pizza, that is what is on it, right? Now, generally, what you... You'll notice one thing. That is all savory. The tomato can be sweet-ish, but generally it's used as a savory. As a savory part of the dish. Pineapple has a bit of tartness and a quite a bit of sweetness that complements a savory dish like pizza. That's why, honestly, you can never go wrong with a ham and pineapple or a Hawaiian. It's simple, it's easy, it's inoffensive. That's how I've always... That's how it's always been for me. Addition. Okay, Manus Hero's done. Fried Typhoon's almost done, and Hammersmith's done. Kind of. Yeah, when it overpowers, that's a bit much. I'm actually going to swap Maru out for Rose. Actually, Maru or Hashal. Uh, see, that that's another one. I'm ne I've never been big on blue cheese. I don't like it. Like I I I like feta. Feta on a pizza is great. I just I. We're doing a tiny bit of. Actually. I'm Bob Congo. Actually, if that's the case, uh, get. I'll just keep that for now. And I'm gonna give you the War God and you the War God Sash. After the stuff I eat nowadays, I learned after. I'm in about two hours, we will have ribs ready. Hey! When I was 18 and younger, I was a nightmare to deal with. Yeah, when you have to buy your own food, 
you you realize like oh you know Scarlet can attest I'm the opposite of picky Because I always phrase it this way. I grew up a poor fat kid. So I, I, I just like food. Because people are... Some of the stuff I eat today, I learned to like from a friend. Yeah. We got a fast fade. Food place, sex ways. It's fucking great. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and for some people, literally, uh, well, I know, uh... How the fuck did I get to Denny Freddy? Okay, I remember. I'm a fucking idiot. I was gonna say, yeah. Dart, don't give a fuck. Yes. Go. <laughs> I just realized I I can swap my. Yeah. Uh, for me, the only thing I literally can't eat is sesame snaps. But yeah, I, I've always been very easy with food. Hey, Congo leveled up. Actually, what? What's most damage? Eh, crush dance. I I don't really need uh uh spirit points right now, so I'd rather just do more damage. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, if, since uh, Scarlet was talking about ribs, I was just like, oh yeah. Uh, take that. Summon four gods. Yeah. Oh, I think uh, I think he got a dragoon level. Nice. Yeah, there's the fucking damage I was looking for. You know what? I'm gonna let Congo transform. Just to get rid of the fear.
first time you played the game and you never got it? Yeah. I got it by accident the first time. Because I went back to Lohan because I was like, after I got everyone, because I was like, I want to play the stupid little mini games. And then that, that scene happened and I was like, uh. Going back, I I do sincerely hope you're enjoying the stream, you know. I know I can be a bit of a fuckwad. For me summon four gods. Eh, fair. For me, my when I first played this game, my the team I originally beat this game with was uh Dart, Albert, and Kongle. Just because they were the boys. Also, I love Kongle's fucking aesthetic. Just this giant fucking beast. Oh, there we go. Got a crack in the neck. All right. I got something for you. I would have won in Lavin's Man pretty well in the whole well that. Oh, yeah. yeah. And now we're five. We got five Stardust left to get. And there's only one Stardust left on disc three. And, and yes, to drop a spoiler. For finding all the Stardust, I am following a guide. I know, shock horror, question dressed it, Parliament. Please forgive me. But I will say thank you all for being here. This was actually a really good stream. Uh, thanks for chatting so much, Ripper. That was actually, you know, really good. That was fun. You know we got more of this on the way. Okay, everything seems to be working as intended. And uh, I swapped out uh, Kongle for Rose currently. I'm more trying to get her up to... Uh, Level five, uh, Dragoon level five. So I gave her uh, War God Sash. I wish there was a XP boosting item. Like, I technically know how to do it, but you know, what the fuck? But I don't want to like, you know, uh have dart two over leveled because I don't get a uh, moon strike until uh, level 29. Actually, let me check my items. And okay, good. Attack ball, recovery ball. Healing. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. I might have a few too many healing breezes. I do know one thing that uh, anything that uh, they drop. It, like, I've already grabbed all the items, I believe, from uh, the Mountain of Mortal Dragon. I'm just curious, like, 
what the Japanese name of the mountain is. Is it like, you know, God Dragon's Mountain or something like that? You know, the God Dragon's Tomb? I don't know. Sounds cool either way. Well, okay, thank you for... It's like, hey, thanks, you just put a fucking target on your back. Turn you down just a tad. See, sub? Yeah, he has okay. ultimate war god. Really? In my def in my defense, like that long before a counter fucking proc, because it's usually within the first two or three. And in case you're wondering why I'm not gonna bring Maru, it comes down to basically I her additions are full. Also, oh, it's just. I caught it this time. That's about 50 per. Nope. And of course, I want to work on summon foreign gods and then, you know, five ring shattering. And then I think his last one is hex hammer. If my memory serves. Actually. I'd rather have extra healing items than MP restoration. Not gonna lie. Going into a big bet. I'm an idiot. Okay. No, sorry, Hushel. Ye yeah, uh, Albert, I need you. Okay. What, what are you rocking? The spirit ring? You know, yeah, the spirit ring's fine. You know what? We're good for now. In case you're wondering why I'm doing that, it's because Albert has a Rose Storm, which is really, really useful. I just have to make sure, like, before we go into the Divine Dragon battle. Nice. And I'm bringing Rose for the straight up damage output. I didn't see a save point so far, but we should be okay. I also have to make it a point to remember to get into a battle. Because I want to make sure I I go into the Divine Dragon battle with like one 100 SP, that's it. Also, I'm trying to level up her final edition because that, that one has the best damage scaling and uh, 
spirit point scaling. Crush Chance is just like Dart's hardest hitting. Because I don't need Mana Zero right now because I'm already level 5. Because I'm hoping before we get to uh, Divine Dragon, he'll have topped up Gust of Wind and I'll, he'll have finished up Rod Typhoon because I think I need six more. Oh, 11 more. Also, I'm not going to acknowledge the hoo hoo funny number. Oh, wait, too late, I did. Shit. I literally went, huh, where's my phone? And then I remembered I was, I'm charging it. Get your D attack on. Okay, that works. Hey, Maru got to level up. Divine Dragon like non-elemental or is he like light element? So if that's the case, like Rose is actually actually gonna be super fucking useful in this fight. Oh, sweet. I'll be blunt. No one else's dragoon form matters for this fight. Anything I... Okay, good. That's actually one I really want. Because that... Okay, he's immune to fear. I'm actually, for this, I'm gonna give her the rainbow earring. I don't care about that. 
Can I get bandits free? Nah. The, the healing is actually much more important for this. Yes, I know I just saved, but I'm going to save again. Because I'm a paranoid so paranoid sort. 31 hours. God damn it. Oh shit. All right, let's do this. Oh shit, Lloyd. Everyone's full, yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, good luck. Yeah. Take your sister Miles Sayasu. Replacement for that girl. How can oh shit. Oh shit, son. Yes, you're a big angry boy. Where the fuck did Lloyd go? <sighs> the divine fucking dragon. God. Oh shit. Okay. He's just gonna be a physical attacker. Nope, yeah. Divine Ball. That. Alright, what is the... Okay, wait, first things first. Okay, it's not elemental. Spectral flash. Yeah. Spoiler. I want to take out the fucking little bits. And the main reason I'm not bringing Maru is because, well, Maru, her physical defense would just get absolutely mollywopped by this dude. Ooh, that's nice.
Voodoo. Up there. Shake. Well, it's all good. Now, I'm not attacking. And then I need to use a mind purifier because I thought Dart was immune to fear. I know. Al I know Albert and fucking Albert and Rose are. Just need you for the defense. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Mind purifier. Ah, much better. Even okay, much better. I'm gonna use Thunderbolt. Very nice, very fucking nice. Actually, speed up on Rose because her magic stat's the highest. Okay, good. Oh, that's. Ooh, fuck. Okay. God damn it, Dart. Okay, the divine cannon's almost gone. I just, I don't want to take double fucking damage. I'll sparknet the divine cannon. Okay. His two biggest weapons are gone. Okay, not the greatest. I should probably I'll throw an attack ball at you. Okay. Okay, I think I have enough for another uh, rose storm. I'm actually going to defend this turn because if he does his fucking fear again, I'm going to be immune to it. And I know the other two are immune to it. Okay. You're taking a bit of a punch, Rose. Uh, yep, yeah, might as well, might as well throw the attack ball. Oh, Fatal Blizzard. Oh, oh I fucked up. I thought that was the big, big one. Oh, 
Okay. Okay, we're into the yellows. I'm gonna Dragoon and Rose Storm again. Just taking less. Yeah, spoiler taking less damage from the Divine Dragon is a good thing. Rose Storm. I think it helps that I absolutely mollywopped his. Uh, Cannon and uh, the ball. All right, come on. Uh, we're having drop frames again. I might need to reset my internet. Come on, what's with you? Okay, good. There we go. Person who's taking the worst beating is fucking Rose. It's, you know, I'll let her defend this turn. Oh, what? I fucked up on the last one? God damn it. And I fuck. Okay. My head. I'm getting ahead of myself now. Okay, we're into the red. I'm okay. Shit, I can't do it. I'm just gonna do a round of healing. What the fuck? Oh, uh, get ahead. You're doing that on the guy with the legend cask? Yeah. I can't do it. Just pour on the damage. Hmm. Oh, fuck, I might need to use a healing brace. 
Maybe. Nice. I'm not going to redo the fight if, uh, hey, first shot. <sighs> um, bad Ripper isn't here. Oh, speak of the devil. Hey, Ripper. Uh, I don't know if we're going to farm it. Um, we might get my Terraria luck and I might just get it on the first one. But at the same time, I'm at this point, I'm not sure I need it. Oh, stabby. Just fucking goddamn Dark Souls plunge attack that thing. Also, well, welcome in, Ripper. You came in at a perfect time when I literally said, oh, dang, I just beat the Divine Dragon. I wish Rip Ripper was uh, here. Oh shit. Or I could just get lucky on the first one. You know. T completely calculated. Nope. No sus here. There. Nope. N I did nothing of the sort. That is just plain old stupid luck. Alright, I need one more level on dart and then I have moonstrike. Hey! Bro's got a dragoon level up. Woo! Motherfucking Lloyd. But yeah, no cheats have been used in this game. I expect it doesn't sparkle in here. Just a little prize. Eh, he's not wrong. He did one shot a fucking dragoon. Uh, both. Wait. Oh, shit. Divine Dragon's just like, bruh. But yeah. What's that do again? Reduces physical damage by half. Okay. I'm not gonna, do I wanna put this on Dart? Make him just the beyond stupidly broken? Or should I give this to someone like Maru? But no. Look, my Terraria luck has transformed into my Dragoon luck. Okay. And also I am gonna fucking save. But how's your day going? How's Endwalker treating you? 
Are you uh, leveling up Sage, Reaper? Well, let me rephrase that. Which one are you going to level up first? Reaper is healing isn't my forte, though I'm avoiding Reaper and Sage, both of everyone, the firstborn, their grandmother is playing one of them. That's fair. That's completely fair. I know Arkolf uh, jumped on Reaper right away. Five more, and then we're on to literally my most hated one to level in the game. I don't know what it is about Gust of Wind Dance. I fucking hate it. I'm also thinking if I, uh... I'm also thinking I might start leveling up Miranda a bit. Mainly because she is literally... All I have to worry about is spirit points. Like, I just have to give her, like, my thinking is, like, do I give her the spirit ring or, like, war god sash or, like, is there a particular weapon that increases her uh, spirit point gain? Like I know, uh, I know you, Ripper. You're pretty decently like knowledgeable about the game. And my friend posted this before, but do you think you could build an optimal setup for farming spirit points on Miranda? Like I want you to just think on that, like. Whether it be like, is it a spirit ring for the constant 20 with a speed up and just defend? Or is like, you know, a certain weapon combo? Or do I go like pierce? Like, do I go pierce speed and just try and get attacks and like farm like the gold guys? Yeah, no, I trust me, I'm with you, but... That, they're the only person I have never maxed in terms of Dragoon level. Apparently their mag- like, th apparently their magic stats are like absolutely bonkers later- late game. And we're getting into the late game. Like we're not quite there. I feel like the Divine Dragon is kind of the- uh, int intro to the late er, late er game. End game is uh, you know when we go to a completely different map. If you know what I mean, that when that hits, that's like okay, that's end game.
or would you just say like disc four itself is just end game period? Just in your personal opinion. Motherfucker, where are you going? I see you. Your dimension door didn't go that fast. Oh shit, wingly. I just saw, I saw the wings. Motherfucker's a wingly. Ow. Well, it should have been obvious by now, bruh. Rose? Oi, wakey wakey. Detonate arrow, arrow magical hat, so amulet. Okay. Thank you, thank you, I really appreciate Appreciate that. Amulet doubles the MP pool for? Hmm. Oh, is that, okay, that's pure magic damage? Okay, yeah. Okay. Huh? What the fuck? Oh shit. Embryo with black power. Okay. Oh. The moon with black power. Meet 18 years ago. Keeps flashing back. And it seems magical hat is another 50. Jesus! Stay here. Uh, at max level, that's like 200 magic. Like if it doubles it, I'm just like, you would have to be blowing like your heaviest ones to even drain your MP pool. <laughs> 200 MP plus. Yeah. Yeah, if it goes off that, it would be like 300. Because I'm thinking, like, how a dragoon, a dragon itself, uh, like level five, is 80, 80 magic, fifty. I'm just trying to remember because I remember it is a significant jump. Because I know final burst is thirty, or is it just? Cause I'm just thinking like, could you just legit, like just blow level five dragoon? Yes, and amulet doubles your MP, so that's 200. And then magical hat is another 50%, so 50% of 200 is 100, so that'd be 300 mana, cause it would, I'm pretty sure it would calculate it off the current. So we do that, that's 300. Back when Dart got his Dragoon Spirit. Holy blessing.
Remember that. And the moon child who blesses the world. Yeah, what do you know about this, Rose? Hmm. Hi! She's unconscious. Must have hit her head. <laughs> it's like you got wings. <laughs> hey. Man, how useful in day to day life would wings like Wingly's had be for you? Not like, you know, crazy big wings. Not, nobody knew he was a Wingly who. You knew he could use magic. Like, obviously. Like,. Just for sheer traversal, it'd be so useful. It's, but yeah, at max, I'm pretty sh I'm gonna check uh, the, cause uh, Dart has his dragon. I knew an object, mail say so. Yeah, yeah, spill the fucking beans. Okay, we've got the moon gem, the moon dagger. Said brought by Wingleys. Yep. Dreadful magical power. No. National treasure. Yep. Moon mirror. Successive thrones. Keep opening the seal. Oh shit. We need to get back to Deningrad. Okay, let me, well, Dart's my only level five Dragoon, so let's do, okay. Okay, it is 80, so at max, at max Miranda, if she had everything like you said, could cast three full dragons. That's still, like, I'm not sure what the white silver dragon does. I've literally never gotten it. Is it is it pure healing or is it just pure light damage? Or is it both? Is it is it light damage and healing? Sorry if I keep asking so many fucking questions. All I do, oh, so imagine being able to do that three fucking times. That's a bit fucking insane. Ah, one more Rod Typhoon and then it's done. <sighs> we had a bit of a uh, frame dip at the beginning. Uh, I hope it's been solid. Ow. Fuck. Okay.
Yeah. I've also got Rose. Like, if I gave her the physical ring and the other thing, she'd have more health than Dark. Okay. Albert is officially done with the Rod Typhoon. She can do cool boogie now. Sorry, Albert. And uh, sorry, Rose. Yeah, I'm gonna bring in Hoshel. Might as well give her the War God Sash. Actually, no, wait, what am I thinking? Fucking give her the Dragon Shield. Because Maru has no physical defense. Her magic defense is, you know, absolutely astronomical. But reducing her physical, if, you know, the attack, the, you know. Reducing her physical damage by half was very, very useful. There we go. Holy fuck. I'm just thinking, like, should my team be Albert, uh, Maru, and uh, Dart? What? I thought I swapped it. Well, no biggie. Wow. Hammer spin. The, literally the only better accessory I could get would be uh, a phantom shield. And I get one of those later. Because, spoiler, for defeating the secret boss, he drops a phantom shield. Now, phantom shield is... reduces all physical and magical by half. Okay. Oh, fuck. Wow, okay. Oh, since she put on the fucking dragon shield, y'all can't give her a break, can you? I actually want to see if I can get a round of cool boogie off. Hey! Oh, t okay, it's opposite element, but Moreau... Okay, that, that hurt a bit. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. Cool boogie.
Oh, gee. Oh, hey. Bent. Uh, just... Hey, you ain't. Yep, you are correct on that. What? Oh, it's this fucking dick waffle. Oh shit. No, it's not. You're being a fucking dick waffle. You are just randomly attacking people. That's, this isn't a great battle. This is you being a fucking bandit. Oh shit, hi Lloyd. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. Bardell can't catch a fucking break. Look at this. Oh my, he walks through it. This motherfucker just broly. This mo- this mother okay, if you have seen uh, dra the Dragon Ball Broly movie, not Dragon Ball Super, but just the Dragon Ball Broly movie, this is what Lloyd is doing to Bardell right now. Right, I will settle them all. This isn't a liberation, you're a fucking bandit. What? Oh! I won't die alone. Oh shit, did he... He just fucking... Electroded. I've seen most of the Dragon Ball franchise at one point or another in my life. That's fair. I've got a Trunks Funko. I need to... I actually need some more... I actually want to get some Dragon Ball uh, merchandise to be legit. But yeah. I'll be pro put it... What he just did is... You know when... Goku does that point blank Kamehameha to Broly who just eats it and walks through it laughing. That's what Lloyd was just doing to Bardell there. Uh oh. What's up? Yes. Platinum hair. Yep. God. Yeah, there is, even as a longtime Dragon Ball fan, I have never seen the, watch the OG, like, arcs. Like, I've seen all of Z. And all of Super. But I've never like gone back and watched the OGs. Like I feel like I want to go back and watch the OGs. I've seen GT as well. Yeah, I've seen some of it. I've seen some of GT, but it. It <sighs> so, like for me, Dragon Ball Z will always sit at the top. It had literally okay. In your opinion, like, pulling from Super GT Z and original Dragon Ball, what is your favorite arc or saga? We'll call it.
Or you could just break it down to a moment. If you want, like, if, like, picking a particular saga or arc. Okay, see, Ripper, me and you, we're on the same fucking wavelength. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Man called Lloyd knew it. Oh, wow. D speak. Who wasn't bad? I feel like they could. Well, yeah, it's coming off like, okay. Boo Saga also gets a bad rap because they're coming off of literally what most people consider. I'd say two of the most iconic arcs in Dragon Ball history. Because for me, like, Cell's the best. The Cell games were fucking, like, top tier. But yeah, like, they fucked Gohan in that arc because Cell Saga, he came into his own. He tapped into everything. He was the first ever Super Saiyan 2. And, you know, Goku died. It made, the, it made you feel like, you know, Gohan is moving into main character status. And then, you know, all the stuff with, like, Mystic Gohan. And then he just gets bitched out. It's like, bruh. Like, I'll put it this way. Cell Saga, best saga. Like, Cell games, and I'm, I'm not just saying that because I love TFS Abridged, like Team Four Star. Like, Taka did a great thing, but original Cell, like, super good, super well animated super good character most iconic though for me most iconic moment has to be the first time Goku goes Super Saiyan like for me that is when I went from I really like you know I like oh I really like Dragon Ball into Oh, I fucking love this franchise. Of course, there's going to be aspects of it I don't like. Okay, are you serious? Bruh. Like, you know, and there's certain franchises I need to watch. Motherfucker, if you get my way again, I'm going to break. Oh, I'm an idiot. I literally thought you had to go up. Like, I, with the new Netflix adaption, I feel like I need to watch the original Cowboy Bebop. I feel like I need to, God, like, I need to watch some of the, what they, people consider, like, the genre-defining animes of the time. Cowboy Bebop, Outlaw Star, Roroni Kenshin, uh, Trigun, you know. Uh, One Piece. I, I know that that's a fucking endeavor and a half. The entire list of him. He wasn't even on. <laughs> you pick him. He wasn't even on the, on the list. Wait, was that? Half time in him. Yeah. All right, where are we going? Yeah. Last three, four episodes of DBC. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, like I love Team Four Star. They took a bridging to the next level. Like, and honestly, just 
I don't know if there's going to be anyone who can step in and fill those shoes. Aside from all the copyright shit that goes on nowadays, like, I think everyone is rightfully fucking gun shy. But for you, like, from your, your Cell Saga, do you have a moment that turned you from a fan to a... I'll just... Okay, I say fanboy, but, you know, I don't mean it in a negative way, but made you flip that thing from, oh, I enjoy this, I'm a fan of it, to I absolutely love this thing. Okay, it's been a few days... Ayo. Go on going from mommy's golden boy to bitch slapping cell. You mean when he runs through the cell juniors like they're fucking nothing? That is a pretty fucking epic moment. Oh. Hey, Wink. Yeah, it, it, it is absolutely a fucking poggers moment. It is, yeah. <laughs> hey. They say DBZ is muddled. And now whenever I see the moment we're calling. <laughs> yeah. You pushed the Goku button. You shouldn't have done that. Miranda, they are friendly species. Ah! Our militant. Oh, hi. Oh, shit. By the way, I, I didn't like mute this or anything. This is just, there's no music. Dear half Vegeta. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Don't try to forget your half Vegeta. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh shit, Luana. Oh shit. Be avoided. Oh shit, dimension door. I desire the moon mirror. Oh shit. The power to create a utopia. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this out here. By human nature, a utopia can't exist. People can get along and people can work together, but a utopia is unrealistic, period. Like, it doesn't matter what you do. Human nature will not allow a utopia to exist.
Oh shit. Sorry about that weird tangent. I just like, uh, my desire to create a utopia, it's like, it, it doesn't matter how powerful anyone, anyone is. It literally doesn't because You can't go, you can't create something that literally goes against the basis of human nature. Yeah. It's Tower of Flanvel. The West of Kusha Glacier. Ah, the Tower of Flanville, AKA, that's where the secret boss is. But I can't get to him yet. I need all 50 Stardust to get to him. So he is a disc four boss. Save. Okay, everyone stopped up. I'm gonna save. I'm not gonna heat. I'm not. I don't need to heal. What did you think of their uh, Helsing Ultimate Abridged? Oh no! Crafting macros. Nothing works. Oh God, if you're in, oh, oh God. I, you have my sympathies. Because if you're a fucking Omnicrafter, I, I can guarantee your macros are like literally the most macros I used in uh, World of Warcraft were for, were for fucking pro, uh, prospecting ore. That's it. You have a dozen or so macros for Shadowbringers crafting. Yes. And now you have to fix them all. Our no change your move. Oof, oof. Actually, sorry, I need someone who hits a little bit harder for what's coming up. Also, I'm gonna give her the dragon shield. Could I make my own shirt? But I don't know. Leave the crafting rotation. Yeah, it's fair. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, you know, within like a week, there's gonna be a full fucking thing. Oh shit. Oof. Blot! Aww. 
You all right? Yeah. Yum. Hey, Thunderbolt. Uh, I do. Yes. Oh, shit. Should I just equip it for, uh, for, uh, this section? Except for uh, the final fight, right? Oh, it, oh. Okay, well. Alright. Thank you for the heads up. God damn it! Was effective. Uh, Lennis. Yeah. Literally, the hardest fight in the game so far for me has been when you fight her in the fucking. in the palace. That thing was just a fucking tanky beast. But if that's if we're on the glacier, I'm because one thing I just I uh, decided on, I'm gonna sell stuff. But if it has like yeah fire based attack, like yeah I lose some attack. But if literally I'm doing double damage because it's you know opposite element. Okay, this is incredibly amusing to me. <laughs> exactly. Well then. Yeah. And here's the thing also. I'm using Crush Dance because it is my strongest addition. I could use Volcano, but I also want to be able to get uh, SP. Like, I'll, I'll take a full bar of SP over 30 fucking six. Get down. Now this should absolutely wreck your shit. That's uh means he's using uh the op the uh element they're weak to, correct? It's like the same thing you would see when uh Albert was using uh wind element against Grand Jewel. Yes. 
And this thing is Earth Element, so. Game makes no no. Well, it is a good visual indicator. You know, that does help. And here's the thing, the Yeti, like. Okay, my recollection might be bad. I thought Lloyd was the final boss of this area. Oh, okay. The Yeti's just before him. Okay, let's see if I can do this without fucking it up. Apparently, I can't complete a fucking... Okay, I have a question. What the fuck do I... Do I save Total Vanishing for a specific enemy? Because I found it... I got... Well, I got another one. Or is it just more of a, I don't want to deal with this fight right now, go away. I think, okay. Because like with the sachets and the, uh, you know, if you farm the sachets, you can uh, get uh, fucking, fucking. Oh God, my brain just died. You can farm the special monsters super fucking easy. For Maru. Already have that. Ooh, and it stuns enemies. It's just a better mace. Uh, right. Okay, so going down there is to the Tower of Lanvel. Which, spoiler. My memory? What? Well, it took three manual crafts for me to make a make it a macro. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, hey. Dart is gonna fucking wreck you. Thank you. Yeah. I'll table crafting this anything like but hey no, hey, it makes complete sense. God damn it. Hey. Ooh, and a spirit potion. Uh. <laughs> oh. 
Tower of the Flan Bell. Oh, merchants! Hi. Yep. All right, what do we got? My magic defense is now 161. Ooh, guard badge. Except I can't even buy that. I could sell a fucking heat blade. And I'm just... Okay, got three of those. You know what? We're good. Why do I have four fucking body purifiers? Okay, no problem. What you got for me? Ooh. Fire stuff? All right, this is just gonna take a bit. What are you uh, crafting right now? Are you, like I know, okay, glamor prisms are always in, you know, people always want fucking glamor prisms. I know those are always in demand, but are you, are you like macroing to level or, you know, are you macroing to sell stuff? Like, I'm just curious, like, cause I have no clue how Final Fantasy crafting works. Leveling macros, new deliveries in the Endwalker hub area. Did you rush through the main story or are you, are you kind of taking your time with that? Because everyone's different. Like, I don't know what your priorities are when it comes to that sort of thing. I wonder for a speed run how, like, still haven't finished the story. 87 MSQ. Nice. Alright. You know what I gotta say to you? I cannot be fucking arsed. Yeah, I literally just started the first expansion story. Okay. I wanna go this way. I no, I'm not even there. Summon four gods. I do not know. 
Ooh, another. Ooh, but I lose. Can he wear that? Bewitching. You know what? I'll take losing five defense. Because being able to, you know, avoid all those is a massive, massive fucking benefit. Hey, in your opinion, is is there any useless repeatable item that you're just like, this is... Ooh. That you're just like, this is not worth it. Because for me, I, have, I haven't used pandemonium, like, since I got it. Yeah, I, I just realized, like, I already do items for. Oh! I prefer additions too, but, you know, I'm a tiny bit of a min maxer. The fuck? I think that's the Yeti you were referring to. Hmm? Oh. More items. Yeah. Ooh, fatal blizzard. Huh. It's what Activision Blizzard did to their profitability for the next ten years. La 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 la. Rude. Rude. By the way, uh, this may be an odd question, but I'm starting earlier than I normally would. How does this start time work for you? I know everyone's different. I'm just curious. Like, you know, you, you've actually been popping by and chatting for a while. So it's like. Uptime. Uh, exclamation point uptime if you're curious. Seventeen thirty ish, so So like five thirty year time. Yeah. I was just doing some math in my head. Oh jeez. It wants to kill us. Here we go. No offense, I'm just gonna call this guy the mini boss. Oh fuck. Oh, it's a fucking Wendigo. Oh. Oh, yeah, and I can use Dragoo. 
Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh... Isn't there s oh I'm very glad she has a dragon shield on. Isn't there a trick with his heart? God, how do I remember shit like that? You can tell me if I've got the mechanics right, like... His heart is specifically weak? Like, should I uh, save my Dragoon transformation until until his heart is uh, targetable? Because I, I don't want to blow my load too early. Done? Wait, you can stun this fucking thing? Do you any chance? Okay. Yes. Go. All right. I need to bunk. That's fine. I'm gonna let uh, Hashel defend a couple rounds. Oh yeah, it's magic, so... I'm very glad I defended! In case you're wondering, I'm kinda saving my uh... Big stuff for uh, Lloyd. Because I know he is an absolute motherfucker and I can't use dragoons in the fight. Because he has the dragon buster. That's not a spoiler. That's literally the weapon he has. And if I transform to a dragoon, I get fucking mollywop. You are taking a fucking beating, my dude. Yes. 
All right, is there anything special off? Oh. Mm. That's what I was waiting for. Now. Speed up on dart. This is about to be absolutely fucking dirty. Okay. Yeah. You know. Yeah, fuck it. I'm not going to need my magic. I was thinking about doing an attack or final burst. Let, let, let's just see. Cause we're, yeah, this is gonna be fucking ugly. You motherfucker. You absolute fucking dog shit. You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> oh, it's like the fucking oh I oh I hate you so much. Well, uh, either way, this thing is just gonna get absolutely fucking shit kicked. about 4,000 damage I'm going to be doing with Darts Edition. Should I see what a final burst does? I'm going to top up uh, Rose and Hushel, so. So, uh, for the edition, Dart did 1,072. a beast Kamehameha We like 600 damage Ah 537 I don't know what the fuck he's doing Oh I'm I'm in dragoon form You know let's see what final burst does Okay, so uh, my addition did 1,072. I'm, I'm expecting at least a K. Okay. Okay. 
<clears throat> yeah. I've got another one of those in the pocket. Because I use Dart, he's got five Dragoon levels. And Hoshel, if I actually throw, if I get a turn before Dart gets two. Guess who, yeah. Okay, that's... Okay, that's gonna hurt you a bit, Hoshel. But it's... I'm legit. It. This should kill it. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, if it survived that again, I would be like, I'm actually... Ooh, is this... All right, that is the final edition I need. We're barely defeated. I just wiped the fucking floor with that thing. Barely defeated. Okay, I'm gonna go with Moonstrike. Okay. Now, now that that thing's gone, Mind Crush. Because the... I am gonna go back and save though. Now tell me from my own curiosity, was there anything special I could have uh, gotten from them? Actually, speaking of. Oh. Speak of the devil, I got a brass knuckle. I'll throw you a healing fog. Okay, I'm gonna save. Nah, the okay. That's still a good good item. Okay. Okay, I'm using the therapy ring on Dart. She's got the dragon shield. He's got the ultimate war god. I'm gonna stick with the ultimate war god. And he just got a hex hammer. Hmm. I feel like I should put hex hammer. Like just cause it, it, it does have the like most damage. Yeah. Okay. 
I'm also gonna kill one, throw the magic, if it's only one thing. Okay, well, I know to. Okay, go ahead. God damn it. <laughs> That's adorable. E -e -e -e. Only had three health. But uh, you had to, uh, You had to get it to open its heart three times, which, you know, I believe it. Yes. Fuck. Actually, that's very useful. Thank you. I'm giving Rose the speed up just to basically get her health back up quicker. And uh, I just like those because it gives me uh, lots of things to use on Lloyd. Because I know they are a dodgy motherfucker. <sighs> Sorry, I just... Wingley's floating fort. Yep. Bear. I want to go that way. All right, there's a treasure over here. God damn it. Oh, it's an item. Oh boy, here we go. Fuck. Another fucking spirit ring? Look, are you just saying you want, you know? Oh fuck. Mammoth! See if I can get actually moon strike full. Nope, I completely fucked it. Nope. 
Take him out. Damn, that hits hard. Now, if memory serves, I... oh, Jesus. Did I do it right? The fuck is the majoring? Oh, went past it. Ah. Oh, that's incredibly useful. <laughs> You can just get caught in a loop. Oh boy. Whew. Oh fuck. Wow, Maru's even flying. That's uh, you know, shit has gotten serious. Now. Opinions, tips, am I forgetting anything? The body, okay. Well, while you do that, I'm actually gonna go use the washroom quick before we, uh, Jump into the Lloyd fight. Be right back. This is when I remember my mic was muted. Created by the great Will Soa. After me often, yeah, forgot it was muted. <laughs> Hundred and seven. Yeah. Okay, now I have a shortcut I'm making muting before Yeti. I tend to mute the mic itself. Yeah. The light is behind the pop filter. Yeah. Thankfully it's a button on my mixer. Okay, opinion. I can tra- Once I transform into a Dragoon, it's not an instant attack, right? Or is it transform instant counter kill? Because I know the Dragoon- I know the Dragon Buster is a one-shot kill in Dragoon form. Like, no question. But is it transform, attack, go back? Or is it transform, Lloyd kills you? Similar to Grand Jewel? Excellent. That's what I wanted to hear. Speed up. 
going to be on Rose. Okay, ooh, yeah, he's got good defense. Oh, yeah. Wow, he's starting off with a big one. Okay, that hurt. That that fucking hurt. But you know what? If I only get one shot. Hi. Might as well drop the fucking king. Might as well drop King Kong on his fucking head. If I only get one shot. And then transform back, transform back. Okay, good, good damage, good damage. I'm gonna defend because you got fucking whacked. Good, good, good stuff. Okay, ow. That, yeah, that hurt, a t that hurt a touch. All right, payback, motherfucker. Okay, that makes me go. Is it even worth using magic? Okay, that hurt a bit. I'll defend again. Yeah. 
Might as well use a couple. I love this one. I just love the animation. Reminds me of uh, fucking Neo Bahamut from Final Fantasy VII just being pulled up and then blur. Okay. Everything's doing like under 400. Oh shit, okay, he's in yellow. Fuck. Whoa. Fuck you, Lloyd. He does hit hard, like. Actually. I can transform Hoshel for a turn. Get a punch in. And then I'm back. Like, I personally say, I do not think I'm overleveled. I think I'm just, I think I just have really good items. That's what it feels like. My equipment is very, very good. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, you're killing a hostile. How dare you? Is he a corpse? Yup. Uh, yeah. Slicey, slicey. Okay, gonna defend with you, cause... Actually, all right. God damn it. Do a couple rounds of defending. Ah, okay, so you're gonna do like 80. Hey. I'm so glad Lloyd does not have counters. Take him out, Hashal. That does about 620. Okay, 652. Nothing to fucking sneeze at. You know, I'm a... I just want to make sure everyone's alive for the end of the fight. Okay. 
He's doing this again. So this did about 900 damage, so I think Hashal's still alive. It's just gonna fucking hurt. Guard. Four. Okay, he was defending, so. Okay. Jesus. You know what? Oh shit, I just realized I had enough for a dragoon. It'd be poetic as fuck. Six hundred, okay, but Okay, not gonna lie, that's poetic as fuck. I'll take it. Only had to use one healing breeze, one aim. Get him, Dart! I ain't doing what you motherfucker. forgot about this. Uh, what? Huh? Wink? The fuck are you on? Explain. Okay. I, I, that's the question everyone's asking right now, Wink. Why? Yeah. Speaking of saving, have you heard of honey dot No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. This is a big scene. I don't want to be that dickhead. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, I'm such a fucking troll. My apologies. Did Death won't solve anything? Uh, hard disagree. Hard disagree. Oh shit. Emperor Dead. Oh fuck. I can come to Fellweb. Web. 
Cool. Settle up. Okay. I dedicate my death. Okay. Oh, I just absolutely cold cocked the fucker. <laughs> Your death? Bring anybody who died back. No, but it. It saved you a lot of bullshit. Okay. He's taking him as like a prisoner. Uh, breath, your sword. Uh Hey Lloyd, can you bring my sword down? Exposition no jutsu. Beat him up. Yeet. We need the moon. Uh, okay, hey, uh, Ripper, I need, uh, I have a question and I need you to check. I've got the mage ring and the spirit ring in uh, Tower of Flanville. Am I missing anything else? Aside from the phantom shield, which I know is a drop from uh, the boss. Oh, okay, kick it. Yeah. Yeah, you might want to get that wound treated. You took a fucking sword slash to the back. Okay, keep working on some four gods. Only done Moonstrike properly three times.
on to Velweb. That's a fucking... That's three. Go after dart. Behold my barren field of fucks. Damn it. There we are. Saw the counter attack coming. I see them. I think. And that should break confusion. Oh. Thanks. I. Oh no, stun. Stun. Well, before we go in here. I'm gonna save. Whoa. 
Apparently, this is a fantastic grinding spot, too. And I think there's some key items here. I could fight all these guys using my additions, so thank you. I'm just going to do basically a triple total vanishing. Ugh. Bye-bye! That is so fucking useful. Because if you're just going for XP... Okay, that's always handy. Oh my god. Yon dude looking motherfucker. Doesn't look like a Yonko, looks like Yon Do. Fuck. That's oh, two fuck ups, I'm annoyed. Hit him, Hashel. God damn it. That's useful. Ah, unfortunate. Ooh. You've got like no fucking health. It's about DX. With this blizzard, we can't really go on. Make the world regenerate. The world? Ruins of Kidessa three years ago. Like a fallen. Hmm. As well as the world ruled by Melibu from Prahma. Inertia. Peace. for you, Wingling. Hmm. I love his fucking outfit. 108. Last God who will regenerate the world. Yeah. I love my mom. But, yeah.
But goddammit, she could be a handful of times. Yeah. And play blessing. Of this legend is the last species. I see. Can you do to kill the moon child? I don't want to imagine go scorched death by the less light. Ah hmm. Yeah. Get their status. Sealed up. Sealed it up, okay. But the gem dagger mirror named after the moon. Or it's the god. Being the divine moon up. If I don't do it, somebody else. One or two things. Keep repeating those. But it all takes 20 minutes. Ah, fun. I just get robo calls. Yeah, what is Shana D? All truth will be told in Bellwet. Hey, Blizzard stopped. Okay, is it just me? Is, is the encounter rate jacked up here? the last time I had a talk on the phone. Oh yeah, it was when I I had to go take a fucking COVID test. Oh shit. Gigantos. Oh. That was bad at classics. Yeah. You're knowledgeable. Get a look. Cursed land with it. Port of Xenobatos. Prosperous cities. Ah, I see. That's Zenobatos? Fort Magrad. Okay. What well, was up there? Wait, 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 wait. Fort McGrad, Fort McGrad. Uh. Those are. Fort McGrad is for optional fights, correct? I'm, I'm just trying to remember. There are special optional fights in Fort McGrad. Or are they in Velweb? You know the fights of which I speak. 
Take that. Summon four gods. Oh yeah. Oh, oh god. What's his name? Yes. One second. Three or four options. Bell web. Yeah. But you can't do them yet. Yeah, those are disc four. Isn't the uh, one in the fort actually like kind of hard? Okay, burning wave. Gushing magma. I think it's like Polter Ghost or something. With your items, I doubt it. Well, my biggest thing first is finding a fucking save point. And getting all the items. Because there's two more. There's, and I know, here's the thing. I know one of them is a repeating item. Save point right next to the optional boss here. Oh, okay. But I want to get those items first. Because I know one of them, I believe, is a power up or a power down. Can you save before you fight the boss is my question. Hey, how shall I get a level up? Okay. Yes, before the optional guy. Yeah, it's right before it. Okay. Okay. Similar to Shirley Shrine. Good stuff. All right. There's one. One more thing I would need you to look up if uh, you don't mind helping out. One. Uh, well. One of the last times here. Uh, there's two items at the bottom. And I have to hit X a certain amount of times to make sure I get them. Because it's like, I think it's on the second and the fourth or the first and the third. Like, just... If you could confirm that or check that, that'd be great. Uh, this is uh, Snowfield. Before I do that, I'm going to go heal. X first, third, and fourth. Okay. Thank you. So first, third, and fourth. First, third, fourth. Ow. I'll just ask. 
up. Is it even worth it to get the dancer's ring at this point? I've already got two. Honestly. Uh Are you the fucking real? Seriously? Thank you. Yeah, I no, like that that if I still hadn't had gotten a dancer's ring by this point, that I'd want it. Okay. Let's go to the fort. <laughs> no. And the that sold seven dragoons. I heard about it. Okay. What is it? Okay. Magic shield. Nullifies magical attack for three turns. That's actually incredibly useful. Actually, if we're going to be dealing with something fucking nasty. Okay, we're topped up. Excuse me. Sandy, let's play a signal. Give us death. Liberation Army. Gloriano? Light to the human. I am Diaz. Gloriana. I thought Gloriana was uh, Wingley's.
stunning hammer. Ah. Ow. Opinion. Should I swap to Madness Hero and just get Dart to, to uh, his fifth? To. So I can use a uh, special Dragoon? Or is it more of a it's up to you, bud kind of thing? Off lock. Fair, fair, fair. Oh, uh, did you check out the uh, thing we discussed uh, yesterday? You don't remember, do you? <laughs> well, one of the many things. That. Okay. Yeah. Flashback. You're going to have a wedding app. Aw. Rosen Zeke. Hey, thanks, Diaz. Appreciate it. If you are really in the bros, I know. I am just me. Oh shit. Oh boy. Okay. If I'm that I've ran in my time, our friend here hasn't been one of them. Okay, uh, my instinct is telling me to go for the fucking sword. Rose's element darts. And Hashel's immune to it. Ooh, her element fucking. 
fucking smacked her. Alright, opinion. Do I go after the sword first? Sword does an instant kill on a character that kills it. Okay. Is it dodgeable? Like, is it just a percentage chance or is it no? You kill the sword, you're gonna have to use an angel's prayer. Okay. Ah, so I should have equipped talismans. That's annoying. Okay, good stuff. Jesus. And blocking? What can't I use? I can't Dragoon. That's, that's fucking annoying. Hashel is still immune. Rose is gonna take a fucking whack though. Oof. Ow. That was kinda rude. Butthole. I'm gonna burning wave. Uh, okay, if the sword does that, what does the helmet do? Well, we're about to fucking find out. Cause take a spoiler as to what my next fucking 
Okay, I think this is Hashel's last immunity. And I think Rose might be dead. Oh no, oh shit. Uh, yeah, healing breeze. Ow. Well, you want to throw your sword at me? You know what, even if it's an instant kill on dart, the other two need more experience. So even if he dies, like, I'm not actually that fussed. Cause he's like a couple levels ahead of everybody. Unless like killing everyone at once, like nullifies it. Okay, I... I heard something die. And I have a feeling Dart's gonna be next on the list. Oh, his, his head's gone. Yeah. The... And this is the instant kill you were referring to. Okay, that's cool. All that's left is, oh, the polter armor, okay. You know what? I fucked up. Okay, Hashel's gonna take a fucking molly whopping. I may need to get Dart back up. Cause I thought that was gonna kill. The oh! Now, technically, I should get all the HP since I'm not splitting it. Okay. Not great. Okay, I think that's the same. This is all dark element. Oh no! She's in Dragoon form! I wasn't trying to toy with my food.
Now it's gonna have a turn. I need to get Dart up. I need to get an angel per angel's prayer on someone. I just, I just literally need this to not kill me. Ugh. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. This is gonna hurt. No! Oh, I wasn't toying with my food. God fucking damn it. Okay. God damn it. Okay, let's do that again. We got this. Skipping the dialogue because we've already read it. Question though, if I kill the armor, does that kill everything or is like, or is everything separate? They're individual? Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna save the sword for last. Fuck up this one this time. Okay, much better. And I need to throw the. I need to remember to throw the magic uh, thing on. Did this? Does this kill him? Nope, that hurt though. All right. I'm gonna go for three final bursts. And I'm going after the armor because that is the main magic user. And also has the most health. Okay, it's fine. All right, who are you command blocking? I can't use items. Okay, but I'm... That's gotta be from the head.
Oof, okay. I am gonna heal Rose or Hashal. Whoever gets a turn is gonna get a heal. Well, they're gonna use a healing breeze. Seven fourteen two. So I've done twenty one hundred to the chest, more like twenty two twenty three hundred with dart alone. I'll eat that. Still can't use items? That's fucking annoying. Fuck. See, that's what I'm trying to stop. Okay, I'm, this is gonna hurt Rose like a motherfucker. Dead, dead? Yep, okay. That ain't good. Oh, fuck, that ain't good. Because Dart can't use items. Okay. Okay, next up is the head. Wait. It's already a dragoon though. Does that take me out of dragoon form? Wait, the what the fuck? Oh, that ain't good. Uh, 
Uh, Okay. I need... Okay, ow. I need an angel prayer. What's up? Could be a sword revenge kills. There we go. Okay. God damn it. I, I can't attack? Okay, top everyone up. I know Hashel doesn't hit as hard, but... I can deal with the command blocking and shit. I don't want to deal with the fucking... God damn it. You're going after Hushel again. Bruh. Oh, I thought he... And Dark can't attack. Wow. 
Come on. Okay, head, head's gone. All the commands are back. But, oh. No, it's not an auto kill. Is it on dart? No. Slightly angled going after Hoshel. Nope. Didn't kill it. Angle, it's going for Rose. Okay. Okay. Fortunately, Rose, you don't get any levels. I was just so t the magic was hitting so goddamn hard. Panic bell. Armor of your. Uh, what's powerful but HP decays each. But that's what the therapy rings for. And the armor of yore. I think Dart might be a little bit fucking broken right now. Yeah. It's a mild drawback, though. Alright. Now, my curiosity, now that I've beaten it, is there an easy way to kill it? I am just legit curious. Like, is there like some trick or is it, is there no trick? And it's just like, no, this is a fucking fight. Yeah. Like, is, is, is there like a gimmick or a trick? It just stupidly overtuned. Okay. That makes sense. I am gonna go fucking heal up. Jesus, what is with the fucking encounter raid in the snowfield? Jesus Christ. Right. 
It's magic attacks rival. Yeah, I noticed. Okay, uh, is there another, uh, where is the other set of brothers for, uh, buying stuff? The web? Okay, they are there. Because I am out of angel prayers. That actually sucked up a lot of my resources. Like not all of them, thankfully. I've still got like some healing breezes, some healing fog. That boss was one of the few where the game didn't soft lock. Ugh. Bruh. I feel bad for you at this point. Your last playthrough was like tainted. All right, I'm noticing for the yeah, exactly. So, uh, when I use uh, the soul, I think I'm using the soul leader and the therapy ring. Nothing just pops up because they nullify each other, basically. Cool. I'm not, I'm not complaining. Yes. Is, is that Darth's most powerful weapon? Nice. I just gotta keep working on Moonstrike and then I'll get Blazing Dynamo. Hey. Hushel just leveled up his Dragoon. Woo! Okay, I gotta go up. I'm getting back to that. Okay. That's a Dancer's Ring. I don't need that. That magic shield fucking saved me. Because Hoshel, a, a fully uh, wound up thing was hitting him for like two fucking grand. You know, fuck it, I'm not even gonna fight these guys. You can buy is Claymore. That's in the final dungeon. Demon Skate. Yep. See you, Mr. Bones. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yes, Undertale. Half of the attack power. You know what? I can just stick with a therapy ring. If push comes to shove, I can swap. Like, but B 
being able to make Dart such a fucking bruiser. All right, and I want you, okay, I just thought of something and I want you to think. What were some of your favorite PS1 era games? Like besides Dragoon, like uh, obviously. I know Dragoon's like, you. okay, quit throwing bones at Dart. Is there anything for you that has that, uh, you know, that also has that nostalgia of, oh my God, you know, I spent so many hours, you know, in this game doing X, Y, Z. The Final Fantasy game seven through nine, solid, solid. All right, I got one. How much time do you think you spent in fucking triple triad? CTR, Metal Gear Solid. Honestly, I've never, I've, I've never been big on the Metal Gear, Metal Gear series. Siphon Filter was like a unique little yarn. It was, it was neat, but like didn't grab me super hard. It wasn't a bad game by any, like, I'll say this much, you know, Metal Gear Solid has some weird fucking writing. Yeah, CTR is always good. Yeah. All right. Any other little hidden gems? Like, obviously what I'm asking about these are um, things that are obviously not the Legend of Dragoon. Any other like standouts that come to mind? For me, like one of those would be like Legend of Lagaya. And just because I'm gonna be a butt, we have been going for almost four hours. Uh, tomorrow's stream will be a longer one, but uh, I need to do some stuff for work and all that. So thank you all for being here. This is always a joy. If Welcome in everybody though. Hey Ripper, good to see you. Always good to see you. Hope you're doing well. How are the connection issues in Final Fantasy XIV treating you? There we go. I'm sorry, I had, I had to burp. Suck sticks, ah. Capital Velweb. Now from what I remember of Velweb, there's four optional battles but you can't do it until you get to disc four, correct? Also, let me know how the audio levels are because I might just be my ears, but the game might be a tiny bit loud or I might be a tiny bit loud. Just let me know. Are, are the... Is he waiting for us? Thrown in the Holy Emperor. But, but you can't do anything about them. I just remember specifically the end of Random question, if I go went back to Cadessa, can, well, can I go back there now? Like, if I talk to the, if I like take the portal and all that back? Or is Cadessa locked off from me? The forbidden land, whatever you wanna call it.
This bell web is a near historic ruin. Okay, and uh, so Velweb used to be the humans capital city. Fort McGrath was when where basically the liberation began and Cadessa was the former home of the the former capital city of the Wingleys. Okay. Well, first thing I have to do is I need to can find Oh boy. Actually, it looks like I balanced the audio pretty decently, so I'm happy about that. Okay. That thing on the right looks like a combo of Rouge the Bat and Sly Cooper. I'm going to fight it. And that looks like Tiny Tank from the N64 games. Everything's uh, recording. Everything's good. I almost feel like I want to KO Dart. Well, after. Because I, you know, want to get the other people some levels. Also, I need to find those uh, merchants because I need angel prayers because I literally have none. I want to stack up with at least three, maybe four. Matt, sit, mom, vault. Summon four gods. Yes. Gus. 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 Oof. Wait, thunder. Eh. <laughs> Guess what Dart doesn't care about? Magical attacks. Also, I have another question you may know, may not know. Does Dragoon run at 30 or 60? Hey, I gotta level up. Hey! Because I do stream at, like, my baseline streaming is 720.60. They ran at 60? Okay. So that, that just means I might be able to run this at, like, you know. Honestly, I would still run it at 720.30. Because I think running it at 1080.30 would still, like, for some people whose internet isn't as good as mine, like, people who don't have access wouldn't be able to watch it like comfortably. Yep. What's up? Hey. So what? Yeah, you are peddlers. What you got for me? I already have a Giganto armor. Ooh. Ooh, energy girdle. Honestly, yeah. And, oh, I already have that. Yes, please tell me you, for the love of fuck, you have angel prayers. Okay.
Three of those, four of those, two, okay. I'm much more comfortable now. But yeah, that, that Poulter fucking fight was, that was decently difficult. But yeah, like you said yesterday, it was, it was more so because it was overtuned. Oh, if I give him the War God Sash, I... Fuck. I have fucked up on every single one except. Hmm. Take him out. Really? Use 72060, can actually be careful that. Yeah, so I found 72060 is like, just, the sound, it's almost the baseline current for me currently. Like, if you're streaming, you should be able, able to get at least 72060. Granted, I know everyone's different, same element but I understand you know everyone's different everyone's got different internet connections or metered stuff god damn it well I can't hit a I can't hit a counter to save my life today and I'm not even drinking the fucking toki in my in my kitchen toki is a type of whiskey by the way Oh shit. For me, like 72060 is like my base lot. Whoa, shit. Hey, Shirley. Four souls of the dragon who lost their lives. Inert. Okay. save we've gone through some cutscenes so yeah and so far I've been playing this game for almost 35 hours can I go get the stardust in here quick Gus! Gus! 
There we go. Oh, excuse me. There we go. So, uh, just out of curiosity, when you're looking for streams, do you, are you going specifically for like something like an old school RPG like Dragoon, or like when you're looking for like a new stream to watch? And I know you said you don't like big streams, but like, are you specifically looking for old school RPGs, auto battlers, like what grabs you? There we go. Our the game with uh, under 10 viewers and a fondness with or have played. That's fair. Hey. For me, I've always been a sucker for uh, Soulsborne games, Re regardless of amount of viewers. Just because I, I just love watching like Souls games and specifically like challenge runs or those kind of things. Those always grab me. Punchy. 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 Either that or speed runs. One guy in particular I love to watch goes by the name uh, Punchy. Dream Bloodborns. That made it a living hell. Ah. Honestly, Bloodborne is on my list to stream again. But yeah. People love to fucking backseat in uh, Dark Souls and like the Soulsborne games in general. It's frustrating. Well, what's that? That I suck because that hurt. Else, I'm gonna go jump on. Half the point of a new boss in a Souls game is it is hard because you don't know the mechanics. That's literally the point. You're supposed to smash your face uh, up against a wall when you first fight a boss because you don't know its timings. You don't know its tells. And, and hey, yeah. No, like... Co-op fights are inherently easier due to, literally, you're doing two sources of damage and you have two aggro targets. God, then he would have hated my fucking. When I uh, originally did, uh, God, what was it? When I played Dark Souls 2, like, when I did 100% of it, keep in mind, this was long before I streamed. To beat the Smelter Demon, I summoned two other people. Because that guy is a bastard. Like Ezekiel the Third said, there are some people who literally, unless you beat the game with a Guitar Hero controller blindfolded with King Kong's dick in your ear, you didn't beat it properly. Fuck that. 
You know how I dis how I discern if I beat a game properly? If the fucking boss is dead. Yeah, like, and I'll be honest, I enjoy co-op in those games. It's fun to fucking help someone out who's having a hard time with the boss or, you know, even something like farming sunlight metals. I just... Uh... Yes, the game is meant to be difficult. But difficulty and unfair are two sides of a very, very close coin. If I feel a fight is being unfair, I'm gonna summon someone. And then we're going to absolutely mollywop the fucker. For example, first time I ever beat Fume Knight. Uh, it was me and another player, both using red iron twin blades with lightning. We literally turned the fucker into diced fucking s into celery. Oh. But yeah, like honestly, I like the co-op aspects of those games. I'll just be blunt. Because it's exactly what you want. It's single player unless you actively want it to not be. That's how I've always phrased it. Enemy had plans to do Dark Souls drunk co-op. That is drunk souls. It can be incredibly fun. Give me the item back. Like I, I've done a couple drunk souls. Not in ages though. Like that would be for me vacation. Dr RE4 relay. I, I'll be honest, I have never played Resident Evil 4. I've, here's the thing, I've seen it played to fucking death. What the fuck? We did some magic. It's called net play. Our last invention was to share controls. One did the moving, the other did shooting. That's actually legitimately super fucking clever. And we were both smashed. Well, all right. Speaking on the alcohol front, what, what, what are your drinks of choice? Like. Lately? Gin? That's legit, that's legit. Uh, yeah. For me, my drink of choice lately has been, uh... Uh, I'm a bit of... I'm a tiny bit of a, uh, drink snob. Tiny bit. Has been, uh, Suntory Toki Whiskey. I should... I should probably have a drink of that. Die. But then I th <laughs> I'm not too stingy. See I just I just have a certain baseline. Like I'm not big on stuff like natty light. Or like God You know, I'm not I'm not big on PBR, shit like that. Like, 
Those aren't really my jam. If I'm gonna drink like, I'm generally gonna drink a harder liquor. Like I'm gonna do a whiskey or like, you know, if I'm gonna do like a rum gin tonics starting drink. Yeah. Oh shit. All right, here we go. Hey. Oh shit, son. Beer cider is long drink. Uh, I hate Jaeger. Like, I, I don't know what it is. I can't drink Jaeger. Give me a w rum and, you know, rum and Coke. I'm, I'm all for that. Uh, honestly, I can fuck with White Claws. They're actually good. I actually do like White Claws. Eh, thank you. Advent species. You are the true dear. You know. Total destruction. Moon, moon mirror. Leva. The Virage embryo. The god of destruction. True Virage. After, yep. After it purges the world. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, Lloyd! Oof! Bye, Lloyd! You got fucking bodied. All right. Enjoy this. What a twist! Yup. Oh shit. Yeah, you died, Abu Frama. Oh shit. Absolute nothing. Birth of the divine tree. <laughs> I 
Hey, Firebrand. And... Destruction and Regeneration. Alright. 11,000. Flesh and Soul. Ah. So the moon that never sets is the body of the Virage embryo. Captured in the Crystal Sphere and Melbu Frama kept it. Draw unlimited magic. How could the other creature? Not eternal. Yep. Certain of human. My victory. Melbu capture. Yeah. Eleven thousand years. Eternal Path. Dark. Yep. Okay. There you go. Hey, Dart, you finally put it together. Made a mistake. Royal Capital Kiddes. Yep. All right. Possesses human body and heads for the moon that never sets. Transmigration every 108 years. Soul of the God of Destruction is the moon child. Truth of the Moonchild in the legend. Players in red. Moonchild descent. She'll give a holy blessing to the world. Utter destruction. Yep. One dragoon who found out about it. She was even called the demon. Rose is the black monster. Yeah. No, yeah, it's true. No exceptions. Yeah. God damn. Oh shit. Are you feeling like you an account that no longer exists? I was not aware of that. Give me five seconds. Did I? Give me five seconds. I'll see if I can fix that. That's very odd. Oh. Oh, it's because I changed the name. Let me edit my panel. Weird. 
Okay. Uh... Well, okay, that one's correct at least. I don't know how to change my fucking... moment. Oh, god damn it. Took the wrong thing. See if I can see that fixed it. I can't see the chat right now. Thank you for the heads up on that, by the way. I appreciate that. Save. Okay. That's good. Good. Uh, it should be fixed now. Let me tell you one more truth. Luvia, you killed 18 years ago. It's a moon child. Luvia had a twin sister. Shauna is the moon child. It just... I forgot to, uh, when I uh, changed my name on that, I forgot to uh, change my Twitter stuff, but thank you for the heads up on that. Alright. Are you gonna kill it? Rose don't give a fuck. Oh shit. Z ain't gonna let her. Make sure that worked. It's all enough. Sweet. Yeah. Radio achieve. And yes, that is the end of disc three. We are on to disc four. Moon and fate. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. If you are curious, like generally I'll post on Twitter and Instagram when I'm going live.
Because, hey, got to try and get that social media coverage. Moon and fate. Okay, question, if I just go back right now, can I go back to Velweb? Or do we need to, uh, do I need to go to uh, Ulara first? Ulara, yep. the camel friend yeah. oh yeah okay okay yeah I guess I can't Under the desert, water dried up. Hmm. Yeah. All right, I'm going to save. I could have sworn that was like a healing spot. Okay. All right, fuck me if I remember. Hey, this is where I legit. All right, I'm gonna go in because I think that's. Ah, son of a bitch. Okay, so I gotta fall down here twice. But it looks like I gotta go to the left. Okay. I could have sworn that was like a little healy spot. I went left then down and I'll go from here ah knew it okay okay so left down down Okay, went down here. I went left. And I went down. And then I, for the next one, I'm gonna go down again. And then if there's a thing, I'm gonna walk into it. That should. Hey! My thoughts and assumptions were correct in this. Hey, a healing rain. Fuck yeah. Ow. 
I do like that there is no, you can literally avoid all combats. I'm gonna head to the right this time. Hey, my first battle. Really? Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Don't worry, you're not missing much. Because of hard work, this damn it actually allowing you to so chosen is the way to go. Yeah. It was what? Like, Chrono. Tr the first one I saw, but I think it was like. Oh god. Uh, not Grandia. Fuck. Uh. It was a. Well, the one I remember instantly off the top of my head is Chrono Trigger. Hey, cool. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Motherfuck. Okay. Hit. That's how I get out. Okay. I guess winter did her. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? Yep. It com yeah, it completely fucking DC'd me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Uh, no, we're good. Okay. Pop out of here. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, this is the perfect fucking grind spot. A bit too late for that. No. Oh. Wow, Miranda just fucking cold cocked her. We are going with you. It's like, if you have the strength to argue, we can fucking go.
We're gonna have words later. Okay. Yeah, apparently this is apparently the best place to grind. Like there's few like optimal. Yeah. Okay, I'm doing that. Cause I want everything. Motherfucker. Okay, so from there I need to go down and then to the right. Okay. So right. Down. Wait, no, down. All right, maybe just that one. Motherfucker. Okay. Right, right. Right, right down. I'm just doing like... Oh, 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 shit. Okay, that's like the exact same place, so... I keep fucking up. Okay, actually... We're gonna do this one first. Gonna head down. Okay. There's no way to go here. I think my car's warmed up enough so I can head out to get some bread and stuff. Alright. Have fun! I'll try up. And I'll try to the right. Then I'll head down. All right, cool. Uh, I'll still be playing Dragoon, still probably trying to get these fucking treasures. Mother. Oh God, I swear to God, I need a fucking map. I'm heading down once. Motherfucker. Huh. Is it just a fucking troll? Am I literally like going in at the wrong angle or something? Because I want those things. So this one's useless. So I'll head down. Oh. Oh, I see, and that's the only way I can go.
Right, I'm gonna go up. Okay. So straight north it okay. okay. I'm gonna go in go up and straight north. Okay. I'm I'm basically testing every fucking So straight north and to the Okay. I just went straight up. Go right. And we'll go up. I'll go left. There we go. Now if I did my math correctly. Motherfucker! Ah. I did not do my math correctly. I failed math. Up, right, up, left, up. Up. Okay, right, 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 right. Up, right, left, right, up. Up. Hang on. Up, right, left. Come on, give me something. For fuck's sakes. Ugh. Okay, sorry about that. Yes, I'm looking at a map because I want to get this shit. Also, there's a very important item here that I need to get. Right? Thank you. I will be right back, uh, groceries have just arrived. My apologies. Apologies.
up, 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 up. That that is the biggest. I want to go left, up, up. And it's a Sunwrap City. down down hey Got that? Okay. There's one more item I need to get in here.
Okay. I apologize if me using a map is cheapening this, but I, d I don't want to fucking walk around here with my thumb up my ass for the next fucking two hours. Kill. Dang it. There we go. Biggest item I need from here. Yep. One moment. One sec. My roommate just gave me a full loaf of my favorite bread. I may be quiet for the next little bit. Okay, anyway, or I might be talking with a mouthful of fucking food.
go, I want to go left. Up until I can't anymore, and then right. Only way to see you, Lara. Caron. Long time. Yeah. Charles Fama. Oh. Rama. His sister? here for you. That's if I want to go back to the death frontier. Hmm. Eleven pounds. How long are Wingleys immortal? Like legit. Are
Are wing needles technically a more immortal? <laughs> God damn it, Hoshel. Oh shit! I recognize a items. Magic load. So I could get 70% magic evade. That's fucking insane. Arrow force. That's actually a really good thing. I guess Wingleys would technically be immortal. Because everyone's talking like they would have been around since the, dra since the Dragon Campaign. Yada. Dig told you them. Oh boy. Oh wow, she's like right on her. The signet sphere. Oh child. Yep. Covering every basis. I'm gonna go save because I've got 49 fucking stardust.
One Stardust to go. this oh oh it's like a bar side between siblings so Melbu Frama must be her brother Only wing is at one. Hmm? Uh, the two wing were leaders. Melbu and... I'm all ears. Melbu from... Ha. Rama. Okay, so she's the older sibling. Kind of a dick. Hmm? Mm hmm? I threw up. Correct. I saw that cutscene. Faust. Commander of Flanvel. Oh, that was And that is the story of Faust. And you'll see what happens when we get 50 Stardust. Oh, Rosie, darling. Rosie. <laughs> Aww. Hello. Needs to be significant other. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> Bro's like. Bitch, I don't care if you're the most powerful wingly on earth, I will bitch slap you. Charlie. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's start at the top. Excuse me. Only three. Okay. Uh. Could I sojourn? Yeah, that's the one that, uh, Frauma and Zeke fell into. Divine drink. Yeah. We saw that happen. His fucking cannon just. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's just basically... They, it's basically like a handheld nuke. Hmm. Moon that never sets. So it's... Divine tree dropped. My baby red Melbu se sealed the soul. Broken. Okay. Alright, about Zeke. Yeah, obviously. And how is he? He's 11,000 fucking years old. Oh, they. Oh, I thought they were just like. You know. I thought they were just like a couple. But fiance, jeez. Both swords in love. <laughs> Lol. Yeah. They can break the sig. I don't know if they were made specifically for it. Ah. other creatures, yeah. Melbu used it as basically as a fucking battery. Makes sense. Ah. Because Melbu was a fucking lunatic. Alright, we can live that. Ah. Yeah, where are the rest of them? Kinda need to know. Yeah. The magical city, Aglis. Agilis. Ag I don't, uh, Lost City, Zenebat Zenebatos. And Destiny, Mayfield. Yeah, they were fucked up. Oh! Hey!
This lady amuses me. Oh, darn, sweetie pie. Like, I can almost hear the fucking southern bell in her voice. And it endlessly amuses me. I can almost hear the, oh honey, child. Or bless your heart. Okay. This kind of had to happen. Thank you. Kill what? Why? Yup. She was defeated in single combat. The black monster has been defeated. Black monster is dead. As fucking terrible as it is, he understands now. He has context. That is the biggest thing with shit. Especially in saying stuff like this. Context. Context is fucking key and king. Gave up their lives. Yep. Speaking of which, I kind of. Hmm. They got to be at the bar, I'm thinking. At least, like, I'm thinking Hoshel or Albert would be. Oh. My mom. Okay. She was hiding something from me. Aren't she? Oh! Oh! Oh, Jesus. Um. <clears throat> That's some PTSD. And Hushal is older, so, like, he's been through some shit. You are so sharp that it hurts. Yeah. I feel like drinks were needed. 
Yeah. <laughs> Each follow one of the Carolyn Melbu. Jeez, I'm just thinking like how powerful was the fucking Framha family? Spell of eternity corrodes the heart. It's true, like okay, I'm just gonna put it bluntly. If you were alive for, you know, eleven thousand years, wouldn't that get fucking boring? Like, people always talk about, like, you know, being immortal, just... Legit, wouldn't it get fucking boring? Like, what do you do? Like, literally... You... One is in is immortality. Jesus. Like it's literally if you were smart, like Oh hey. Strong weapon, yeah, fair. Later, view to the end. Yeah. 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 Albert's got a point. With you, would you? Humans and it's like. <laughs> Wait a sec. Oh hey. Oh. Oh. So that's really fucking neat. Like legit. That's cool. Last oh, question is where the fuck is Maru? And my other concern is if I go to Rogue, like, oh, here we go. Hey. Without me, the strongest. Hey, you're not wrong. <laughs> hey. Of course. The, the, the Homo Gigantos. That's fair. Okay. Did he listen to a wingly? Yeah. <laughs> There it is. Okay. I'm currently going to stick with this party. Okay. Sorry, I'm just doing a bit of math in my head about, like, how far I actually need to fucking go. Oh, hey. Because... I got to get to Rogue, get the Stardust, and then get back. Because if we're going to the Homo Gigantos...
That's an awesome send off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at least a hundred and seven times. The monster has died. Okay. Hmm. Who knows? Why a painful thingy? <laughs> Touch more than 45? Yeah. Well, we got 49. Well, speaking of uh, 49, we've got 49 Stardust. Okay. Question. Once I get the 50th from Rogue, uh, I can just go straight to Flanvel, right? It's, it's a bit of a fucking trek. I know that much. Where does this spit us out? Oh shit, can I just... Wait, if I go back through Alara and the Death Frontier... There were nice winglies like Charlie. Is is it pronounced like Charlie or like Carl? Aren't all brutal people? Yeah. But uh, I just also realized something. Just thinking, the Fra Ma family is stupidly powerful. Like holy shit. Charl and Melbu, like holy shit. Okay, I'm just thinking of the quickest way back to Flanville. Like, would that be coming from here? And just heading, like, doing a loop back? Or would it be quicker to, like, go through the barrens and all that shit? Wouldn't that would make most sense? I know most people would wait till, uh, you know, you get the travel item, let's call it. Well, the ability to fast travel, but... Fuck that. I ain't waiting that long. I'm gonna go punch Faust in the face. Oh yeah, and... This is where you would farm sachets. If I recall correctly, off those piggies. But currently, so I forget. Okay, he's got 11 more he needs to do and then I can move on to five ring shattering. I'm actually gonna swap Rose out with Albert. Oh yeah, and I also got the fucking bandit shoes. So. Ok, 
because I guess I need to finally start working on Gust of Wind Dance. I literally forgot about the Valley of Corrupted Gravity. Yep, Gust of Wind Dance. But it's like, guess who wouldn't dance? Ugh. Ugh, son of a. And if memory serves, isn't there a particular one you can step on to like. one and uh i think once we finish up melbu we're probably heading back to the death frontier for a bit of uh training for uh for uh miranda finally because I've got enough, like, SP boosting stuff. Like, I've got her arrow that gives uh, arrow force, and I could also give her the War God Sash. Pew, pew. Okay. I hate this. Fucking a uh, dick shun. In fact, you know what? Give you a fucking spirit ring. Give you the ultimate war god. I fucking hate dealing with Gust of Wind Dance. It is seriously the most annoying addition to level up. God damn it. Bonk. Ow. Just gonna get this battle out of the way. Exploding chick. All right. Alright, All right. I just want your opinion. Aside from Faust and the final boss... What would you say is like, is there a hard, like, what's the hardest optional boss? Aside from Faust. Just in your opinion, like, apparently there's a Virage at the end game that is actually like shockingly difficult. I'm just thinking. Okay. Depending on when you one of the dragons who grew up given her speed. Oh, thank you for reminding me. I don't recall it. Isn't there one in the end, like, end area that is actually, like, kind of a smack, a smack in the teeth? Okay, got that. 
Oh, thank you for reminding me of the dragoons. I'm just trying to think of the quickest way to get back to the fucking, like, snowfield and shit. Quickest way to get back to Velweb. Because basically, I'm... Here's kind of my plan right now. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Go to the Twin Castles. Go to... Because, okay... Does going to Rogue lock you into that area? Like, if, if I would just want to go get the Stardust and then go do all the side stuff. You go in to get out. Perfect. Yeah. Ha! Ha! Fuck. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no. Once you, uh, go to the end game, like... But yeah, I'm thinking uh, after... Here's kind of my plan right now. Gonna go to Rogue, get the 50th Stardust, leave, go back to Velweb. Take care of all the Dragoons. Go to Flanvel, kill Faust. Go back to the Death Frontier max out some dragoons in additions. That's kind of my plan. Because it's also when we get to Mayfill, I'm going to be doing those optional fights as well. Because, hey, why the fuck not? If I'm going to do a Stardust run, I might as well kill all the optional stuff. I've already broken this game's fucking difficulty over my knee. What's your plans for the day, uh, Ripper? Aside from just, you know, chatting with me about uh, Dragoon stuff. Oh shit, hey. Salute, you literal cardboard cutouts. Hey, what's up? Crafting gathering on autopilot. Carol. Okay. Yep. Alright. Please save the world. Must gain my Omni Crafter status. Yeah. Nothing wrong with a bit of Omni crafting. Okay. Oh, uh, can you look up something quick for me? I I'm sorry to keep asking for stuff like this, but it's things that pop into my head. Okay. I have, uh, 
I've, I just got power down from the death frontier. Where is power up? Omnicraft. Uh, that honest, seeing all this stuff, I've still got Final Fantasy XIV installed. I just, I need, would need to buy Endwalker and re-up my sub. Ugh. And it, after the seal room. Fuck, can I get back to Cadessa? <laughs> like, one, one, two, leave. Did I just miss out on the fucking power up? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because I think, uh, like, I know the the thing from Kazas is gone. Like, I can't get it. Just because if I if I missed out, I'm annoyed. But it's not a it's not game breaking. The fact I have power down is actually massive. Because if I can go back there and fucking grind. Because Miranda, I just equip Miranda with like everything, and just you know, let her just fucking just knock arrows. Okay. With royal cap. Okay. Well, that's also something we got to go stop and get. Because, hey, yeah, like I said, if I'm... So I just have to go back to Evergreen Forest and the Forest of Winglies. Not a big deal. It's making me want to fucking wait for fast travel, though. <laughs> Fuck. But I believe uh, fast travel only happens after the second city. I think, yeah, second city. Okay. You! That was a rainbow bird. God. I got a question. Uh, if uh, if I was to start playing Final Fantasy uh, Eight, uh, not Final Fantasy Fourteen again, the items you want to get, yeah. <clears throat> Like I know about the repeating attack item later, and it's just like, oh, that I w w w w w want. Ashel, yeah. Well, that was quick.
Okay. Okay. You may not feel like wandering around the practice area, but I do. Nice French cleric with the big from when capable of reading enough English. Uh, what? Do tell. Guess what? That's all 50 Stardust. Uh, that is the fan rumor. It was never actually confirmed, but that ac it does make a lot of sense. It does line up. Forms it after the fight. Oh, okay. All right, I kind of need to talk to you. Yep. It worked. 50th Stardust. Yes, if it was when he tried this. She doesn't know you yet. You're right, you're right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Kidlet, what's up? I'll give you happiness. My ma. Aww. <laughs> oh, that is adorable. <sighs> oh, boy. <laughs> We know what that means. There's like a million hints. Yeah, fair, fair. All right, I'm gonna save quick. Also, hey, Amira. Yeah. That's 50 Stardust. Now, before we start this stuff, we got a lot of little things to do. Oh boy. 
We gotta go fight dragoons. We gotta go kill Faust. We gotta go back to fucking Cadessa. Oh boy. Y'all looking forward to this? Okay. I just gotta make sure I can get back to fucking Cadessa. Uh, yes. And she's singing it to uh, the mayor's daughter who can't talk because, uh, you know, she was attacked by a monster. If my, if I'm remembering it. By the way, I don't know if we're gonna like kill like the dragoons and Faust today. Uh, maybe. I I don't work tomorrow, so might do a long, long stream. We'll see. Let's see how I'm feeling. I'm just more figuring out how to get back there, like the easiest way. Because I'm just trying to do, like, some basic map math in my head. If it was just... Having a different dart. Broke. You are correct. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. That makes a lot of fucking sense. Okay, we're into the Twin Castle. Hi, we're back. Bye. Ow. Okay. Would it be quicker to go through the Death Frontier? Is my first thought. Like, to go through the Homo Giganto and just, like, go that way to get to the Flanville and, uh, everywhere I need to go. Or do I just leave, like, do it via my Oseus house since I need to go back to Cadessa? Wait, I think I... I know, I'm trying to remember myself. Because if I go through... Okay, wait, don't know. I'm starting to remember why I regretted the call to become an Omnicrafter. <laughs> Turn off all chat in this area. Yeah, I'm just thinking. Honestly, Endwalker looks fun. <laughs> well, no, you have to AFK as a Lala fell. And you have to be dancing in the line. Normally dressed up like Squall. Fuck. It, do you avoid limps that just... Yes. 
My new server doesn't have the la la spot. No! God. Where, hey, uh, Ripper, where do you play? Like, uh, God, I don't even remember where the fuck I am. I think I'm on Marlboro? Yeah. But why do you avoid, why do you avoid Limsa? Is it uh, just cause it like would like the fuck out of you or because it's like yes. just like the most populated spot? I can't live my life without seeing you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, wh where do you play? Are okay, Amir, you have to help me. Is there an equivalent to Moon Guard on uh, Final Fantasy XIV? Balmung. <laughs> God. God damn it. I was gonna say, isn't that like also one of the most popular servers? Mostly the old uh, in. Oh god, is the equivalent to the Goldshire in on fucking Moonguard? Oh. I don't know how bad they are now, but oof, during the Wrath days, woof. They look. Even if you weren't participating, it was a fucking gong show just to whoop. Like, it, it's the equivalent of going to a convention and people watching. Because, dear God, it is fun to people watch. Like. Just. I'm looking forward to DC. So I can visit my old MC. Nice. I handled the servers I played on. It has always been the same. Even Crystal can. Yeah. Understandable. But with the, with their new setup, you you know we can still actually like join up because they're doing I forgot what they did because eventually okay eventually I'm gonna start playing again they didn't do anything yet okay I thought that was coming with Endwalker my mistake ah ah sorry something in my eye Problem six point one DC visiting. Okay, uh, I know you play. They have to be on your data center. Data center visiting. Okay, I was like, I literally my brain was going, what the fuck does DC mean? Like, but yeah, data center. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Fuck! I keep fucking up his goddamn addition. But that's why I have ultimate war god on this guy. Marlboro? Uh, yes. So is uh, Baomung. Back when I used to, when I used to play, uh, me and Amira used to run stuff, aka. You're on Aether? Aw. It's okay, we all make mistakes. I 
Coming to you from Majan Lanji. Oh, yeah. yeah, then you'll actually get some fucking. You know. Oh, shit. From Primal Aether and Chaos. I have been on. Marlboro. Yeah. Exciting, I know. I need to remember how the fuck to get through here. Meow. believe so actually yeah I actually learned how to play Mahjong because of uh, Amira okay it's down there yeah Sari is a bit of a pain in the dick See, I'm the opposite. I got interested in Mahjong because of Yakuza. But then when uh, Amira showed me how it was properly played with like Mahjong Soul, and then I played it in Final Fantasy XIV. Yeah. Ha! Ha! Oh, shit. But then like, I actually played it a bit and you know, now that I understand how to look out for like Yakuman and all that, it's actually fun. Yes. Okay, come on. Don't fuck up. Yeah. Right. Of course I get it a barely, but I just mean like, I know how to like actually, when I'm actually looking for a certain piece, I know when I'm actually looking for something, you know. I didn't say I was good. Fuck me if I can remember how to do this. Goddamn area. Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't even need to come up here. Son of a bitch. I'm banning my gathering. Uh, no. You must regain the title of Omnicrafter. After I hit this edition. On a more serious note on that topic. You're an Omni Gatherer. <laughs> you two complement each other so well. Shit, they removed high quality? That sucks. Ah. Ah, from gathering, yeah, from crafting, no. Okay. Hmm. Uh, what? 
not to see you link. Jesus fucking Christ, bruh. And that's not an insult, that's just holy shit. That that is not a sad tale, man. You know what that tells me? That tells me Final Fantasy XIV is fucking good. Yeah. When literally crafting in the game, you don't have to fight. Well, do a bit, but like... Servers do slammed. Mood. Ha! Ha! Fuck! Quit countering, you little fucks. I only need a few things and then I can start working on five ring shattering. Yes. Go. Just kill him. Oh, and uh, I'm going to start leveling um, uh, Miranda pretty soon. I almost said Amira. I was going to be like, wait, what? No, if I was leveling Amira, I'd be leveling Maru. what I expected to come out of your mouth. Well done. You actually threw me off there. Yeah, but I, I do need to level... Um, oh, for fuck's sake. But yeah. Honestly, once January rolls around, I might... Oh, and, uh, oh, Amira, just so you know, I'm gonna, f when I finish Dragoon, uh, Nier is next on the list. And it's gonna go Nier, uh, and then Yakuza 3. Because I've checked out a bit of it, like, nothing like uber, like, super, like, spoiler or anything like that, not all, but... The combat seems right up my fucking alley. Aside from the bullet hell stuff. But that's just a personal preference thing. But yeah, that... Near Automata is planned after uh, this. I don't know about Near Replicant. I don't know if it's on Game Pass. Do guess what? Do guess dealt? The OG. Isn't that Drak? Isn't the OG uh, Drakengard? OG when it, yeah. Yeah, the OG is Drakengard. <laughs> Guess that. The whole Drakengard near. A can of worms. Yeah, I, I was kind of being a dick with that. My apologies. But you didn't have to say, yeah. All I know is I want to play the game where the attractive lady with white hair absolutely molly whops some people with a giant sword. Ha! 
and not just for the fact she's carrying a fucking dump truck. I'm sorry, it was like MC's go for nobody. I'll keep this companion. Oh, 9S? <laughs> I know a couple names. Uh, nope. Oh, wait, no, you mean the little robot. I think. I'm, I'm trying to figure out your angle because you like to troll me with stuff like that. Apparently, like, and apparently you can do a lot of varied builds in Nier. That is one thing I have seen. Like, you could literally... You mean 9S? Okay. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? My first inclination was that you were talking about the little, like, shooter pod. Hi, we're back. We gotta go kill Faust and some dragoons. Hey, what's up? See ya. But yeah, 9S is adorable. You just wanna like pat his head and be like. It's like, good boy, pat pat. Oh, jeez. Uh. Ah. Uh, my thing's gonna stop for a sec. Okay. Okay. Oh, jeez. That alerts. There we go. Sorry, I actually, I think I have to reboot Discord. Yeah, I think it just straight up crashed on me. Sorry, I was just getting a confirmation of something. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, that ain't good. Okay, yeah, okay, that's not working. That's, ooh, that's bad. Okay, you're gonna be here for a second. 
Give me five seconds, cause some shit just accidentally went. where I put it. God fucking damn it. Okay. Okay, is that... What the fuck? Did it completely fucking break? Okay. Okay. Hang on. I apologize for all this. That is weird as shit. Uh, unfortunately, okay, there we go. Unfortunately, for the next little bit, uh, I apologize for all this, but, you know. Okay. Okay. Hey, there we go. Hey. Don't worry. Never fear, folks. I have returned. Like I, I'm looking forward to 
jumping into Nair. Oh, uh, Amira, did I tell you about my insane luck with uh, getting items? Guess who pulled, guess who got three fucking dancers rings? This person. We're actually almost back to Velweb. Well, yeah, because it basically means once, uh, uh, yes, I've got dancer, I've got uh, a pair of dancer shoes, uh, yeah, I've got dancer shoes, I've got dancer's ring, I've got bandit shoes, and I got bandit ring. So basically, anyone I want to can have up to 40% increase, can have 40 increase speed. Yeah, I know that's my plan. Cause I've also got her arrow that gives her 50% more uh, SP. I was also thinking of instead of the uh, dancer's ring on her, giving her the war god sash, which improves uh, SP by 50% as well. So like if I just wanna grind, grind her quick, you know what I mean? Or like if I just give her the spirit ring, you know, so many options. Motherfucker. Like, if you look at Dart's equipment right now, he is... Dart is broken. As a... Uh, uh, Ripper can attest. Dart is an absolute fucking just beast right now. Hey, now we're gonna level up. Yay. But yeah, if, uh... Th that is what he's rocking right now. If I wanted to, I could give him the bandit shoes. Like, yeah. He's using his best weapon. He's got, I got a legend cask. He's rocking the therapy ring to offset the soul leader. And he's rocking the armor of yore. I didn't mean to do that. God damn it. Like, I, I kind of want to like bandit shoots better on Albert. Eh, you're not wrong. I was just using that as an example, like as in just how much more broken I could make Dart. Because I think with the Banditudes, it gives him base 70. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, like... 
my goal is after after I kill uh, the dragoons and Faust, I'm coming back here, giving Miranda the best stuff and just farming her. Cause, oh yeah, I also discovered what her dragon did. And that's broken. Like, I knew, like, we actually did a bit of, um, number crunching. She, at a full Dragoon clip. She can do, with all the MP enhancing equipment. Uh, what is it? She can do her Dragoon five, uh, what? Three times and still have 60 MP left over. Yeah, three times. Yeah, Dragoon level five, she can do it three times, still have 60 left over. It, it It's fucking nutty. What? Oh, really? I came all the way back here. God fucking damn it. So can we... I thought the boat wasn't docked at fucking Donau. Well, I guess we'll fucking find out. Uh, no. Should I just... Alright, opinion. Should I just push forward till I have the bird? And then go do this stuff? Okay. Oh, cool. I think, uh... Alright, yeah, if that's the case, yeah. Not like I'm fucking underleveled. Just, I wanted to go do the dragoons. Yeah, apparently, like, this is, like, the perfect grind spot. But if that's the case, uh... Yeah, see, like, her base speed is 120, but her physical defense is... Yeah, I'm gonna give her the dragon shield. Like, I lose out on 20 speed, but...
Congo with bandit shoes. It would give him 70 speed. That would be fucking stupid. Putting defense on Maru? What? It reduces... Her magical defense is fucking astronomical. But her physical defense is absolute hot shit. And Dragon Shield reduces all physical by half. I fixed it. something I'd ever go for? Yeah. yeah. That's fair, that's fair. Got After I kill Faust, who do you think's getting the Phantom Shield? Let's be real. I've got the fuck King Madron. Fuck. But yeah, I'm also rocking cool boogie. Oh shit, I forgot to. Say, Maru's Dragoon is uber easy to level up because so many fucking turns. Rude. Oh, oh yeah, addition. Because I think Hushal is done with yet yeah, some four gods. Time for five ring shattering. I have to pass by there anyway. I'm going to check something. I'm just going to see if the boat is docked at Donau.
Like, I know it's technically in flats, but I, it's a video game, so. I'm willing to check. I just hate that I have to go through the valley of fucking corrupted gravity again. What I'm thinking of right now is what? What other list could we do on uh, for the tier maker stream? Yeah. Like if we've all watched, holy shit, Dart, what was that? Sorry, I didn't expect to see 1800 fucking damage pop up. At least this technically means, uh, I'm just gonna check Donau. And if so, I'll go to Fernie. Yeah. Okay. Like, is your, I, if you're going like just straight YOLO build, is your team Maru, Dart, Miranda? Okay. Cause you're just chucking magic at them. That makes sense. And yeah, if you're just trying to like, just say YOLO, fuck it. Mm. Ah, son of a bitch. Thought I made it. Make it, make it, make it. Damn it. I press button, yeah. Oh, derp, derp, derp. All right, I'm gonna check Don out, and if not, I am gonna go to Rogue and uh. Rogue? Uh, uh, place you gotta go next. Hey. Get the fuck out of the valley. Was was name Rouge? Uh, Rogue Rouge. You, you knew what I meant. Smart ass. No, I'm not drinking alcohol quite yet. This is just a beer of root. Damn it.
that enemy name though? I didn't catch that. I killed it too quick. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, some of these names are amazing translation. Arrow shooter. Yeah. Oh no, the translation the name translations there is a enemy called the Assassin Cock in this game. And yes, I'm a child because it makes me laugh every time. But I'm thinking like, could we rate the MCU movies? Because I could watch fucking... I could watch Shang-Chi fucking tonight. Apparently that is actually a decent movie. You know, could rank the Marvel movie like Cuz there's lots of D&D centric stuff, but you know, I want to make sure it's some, you know, something all of us can enjoy. Time, energy, or mental capacity. That's fair. That's fair. Like, here's the thing. I'd love to do, like, a One Piece character tier list. The only kicker is, like, I need names. You know, I'm not... Motherfucker, piece of... Yeah, yeah. Okay. Fine game, I'll continue with the fucking story. Don't mind me, I'm just a fucking salt pile right now. Just get, yep. But as I recalled, you don't get that till the second uh, city. And drops it with the axe kick. Okay. It was an idea. I just want to see if I could get it done before Burb. But yeah, like I was saying, like if you come across any like tier maker list that you want to do, you're like, oh, I this is a subject I know and enjoy, and can provoke discussion. I am all for that. Like we did, we did silly ones like sandwiches and fucking ice cream. Oh, I think me and uh, Scarlet did Thanksgiving food. Excuse me. You didn't hear that, but I just rattled the goddamn windows. Take 
there's certain ones I don't want to do, like Game of Thrones stuff, because I'll be honest, I I did not watch Game of Thrones. But I also, I need to finish up The Witcher and I need to get into the Wheel of Time. I, I just, you know, need to win the lottery, stop working, just so I can just consume all the media. Cause then I gotta go, there's classic anime, A's, Animate classic anime shows I gotta watch now that I have access to a Crunchyroll Premium. You know, like, do I go watch like Trigun or Fist of the North Star first? Like, you know, do I go for a Roroni Kenshin? Yeah, mood. I just want to win the lottery so I can lounge around my house in a fucking robe and watch things. So I hope you win the lottery very soon. Yeah, let's go. Honestly, if I if I ever do another playthrough of this in like a year or two, I'm just gonna turn on the infinite items cheat. Here's the thing: it doesn't make the items you pick up infinite. It just makes it so your inventory. <sighs> Damn it! That would just solve so much bullshit. Especially when you're a goddamn loot horde like I am. Very uh, I'm legitimately sorry to hear that. can say is, I, I hope you push through. I sincerely do. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean I punched the mic. My apologies. Didn't mean to give you an uppercut ASMR. Ooh. 